Guys, if you haven't already, make sure to follow the podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. It helps us more than you could imagine. All right, well, welcome to another episode of the Fellas Podcast. Um, And you might be wondering, this person to my left looks very strange it looks different um unfortunately um chip is uh, has fallen ill and we decided to make the very responsible decision not to have him in so uh my co-host for today is in fact reverend reeve Thanks a former guest of the podcast I actually yeah. um he's made the upgrade I graduated he did graduate and today we are joined by the fabulous katie price how are you i'm good hi guys thanks for joining us i'm good thanks it's really nice to get out and come to a studio instead of, I know I said I'm quite, it doesn't bother me that lockdown's been lifted yeah. a bit because I'm quite at home and do my bit. Mm-hmm. But just to come out and go to a studio and a studio kind of setting. What do, you, so, what do you think to the studio? It's wicked actually. If, do you know what? It's like when you're on TV. Uh-huh. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but when you're on TV, like the sets you think are massive and it is like this, you come in a room and it's literally a set like this, but there yeah. it looks like it would be massive. It looks massive. massive. Yeah. That's what everyone always says. Everyone turns up and they go, it's a lot smaller in person. And that's not <laughs> the first time someone said that to me, but- is it? No. Um, <laughs> oh, I just got that. <laughs> that's all right. Um, but yeah, no, so today we wanted, we're just gonna chat about loads of different stuff. Um, and obviously with uh, Reeve coming on, I'm sure um, there's some, some, some questions questions reeve has as well different vibe different to, vibe to yeah now you do know i like a banter yes and oh, I want one banter a banter yeah both yeah, and, yeah. Fourth. and um and everyone must know i don't know what you're going to ask what we're going to talk about because it's better go with the flow yeah and just see what happens so oh that, my god that that's one <laughs> thing that i was going to say actually is with with a lot of these um you know I, I expected when having you on a lot of the times you get a message saying can we please get through all the questions that you want to ask katie um we're going to need clearance on this this and this but it was the exact opposite with you oh, cool. <laughs> um i literally just got told just ask about whatever you want to be honest but i think they're best i think like there's so many people out there in the industry who are manufactured and plus you know behind closed door they have a laugh with their mates and they're completely different and i've always been like that i'm not perfect i don't want to be a role model in the way because i know i do things wrong say things wrong and people are like oh my god i can't believe she said that or this i am what i am it's like just being with your mates, just have a laugh, isn't it, really? Yeah, exactly. No, I'm so glad you did say that because, um, yeah, I'm fed up of uh, of agents telling me I can't ask this or I can't ask that. And so it, it'll, be, it'll be a fun conversation, uh, conversation today. But the very first thing I wanted to uh, to ask you, um, it's, a, it's a challenge that I've been doing lately. It's called uh, the Freezy Five. We. Yeah, we've been doing it. Uh, Freezy Five. Freezy Five, yeah. Right. Um, and essentially there's five rules um, I'm to, not good with rules. But no, cool. You can <laughs> join, by the way. You are if you want to join. As I, of I don't. Tomorrow. But we'll find out. We'll find out if she, if she, if she likes. Oh, you mean if I've got the banter and if I'm up for it? Check you out. Don't right. you worry about that. I can hold my rule own. Rule number one. <laughs> yeah. Rule number one. Yeah. Uh, so so it's like a fitnessy type challenge, right? Jeez, no, I couldn't even walk up the stairs. Are you choking? <laughs> I missed the lift. The girl Maybe come down. I was like. Oh my God, I think it's your pair. I'm like, oh yeah. my God, look at her, drop dead gorgeous. Look at her body. And here's me like, with my broken feet stomping up the stairs. <laughs> so fitness isn't my thing at the minute. I'm more like a hippo up the stairs. So uh, <laughs> the first thing is cold showers. Now, right. R- Reeve, what are your thoughts on the cold shower? I, I am a converted cold shower person. We, we love a cold yeah. shower in the morning. Right, so the nearest thing I've done to that is I try to sit in a bath of ice. And yeah. I couldn't even do 30 seconds. Do you don't mind you, bath of ice is different to a cold shower. I hate being cold. I hate it. But apparently cold, cold showers are good for you and refreshing. So I, I hated it for the first two days. They were awful, but. But you do I've the whole the shower light. cold. Yeah. Yes. yes. No warmth on it. No, no. I mean, you can, you can be kind of cheating the system at the end. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know. so w- when you step in there, like the first bit, you're like, <laughs> yeah, 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 like that. But then uh, about you know thirty <laughs> seconds in, once you once you once you get the breathing correct, like <sighs> like that, it's it's a very awakening experience. And it and I promise you, after you do it, yeah, your day will be off to an absolute flyer. You'll feel like you could take on the world. Yes. Well, I did try something like that for three weeks in our celebrity because there was okay. no showers there, and it was just like natural water and they made a shot and it was freezing yeah like it does take your breath away so what was that what was that how I'm real doing that because i remember it felt like my skin was burning it was that but cold. surely in, in australia it's warm enough 
Well, no, because you're in the jungle, you think that, but um, it's quite shaded because of the trees. But uh, come on, okay. cold water is freezing. And then you have to use the same towel on that every day, which is damp and you're just cold. So that's mentally scarred you from ever to Do you know, I like, I like mental challenges. There you go. As a person, <laughs> so yeah. I pro yeah, I could do it. You could do it. Could, For yeah. 30 days, every morning, have a cold shower. Well, if it's a challenge set, then I'll have here to you do go. it, won't I? Here you go. For your YouTube oh, channel. Here, we here go. it is, here it is. <laughs> oh, wait, we'll, we'll let the behind the scenes uh, camera pull this one up really quickly, right? This is my challenge for you. Uh, we don't have to do the whole video, but if you can do cold showers every morning for 30 days. How long do I have to be in the shower for? That's your uh, discrepancy. Though, that that, so that is actually up to you, yeah. but we won't count anything under thirty seconds. I okay. think that's fair. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's seconds, fair. Yeah. And if you uh, uh, and if that's the case, then I'll, I'll donate um, five thousand pounds to whatever charity because oh, you do because you do my, a, my charity. Your no, charity. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. <laughs> Buy myself um, a pair of shoes, a nice <laughs> handbag. This is the freezy five handbag. <laughs> yeah. This is the cold shower yeah. of her seeing. Like, so you if you could do it that. for yeah. a YouTube video, 30 days cold showers every morning, a minimum of 30 seconds. I'll get cold with a stopwatch. There you go. Um, but, but I can no, have a hot bath in the evening, so it don't matter. No, that is very true. That's that's one thing people have been asking me about the challenges. Can they the, like? Can they only have the cold shower? It's like no. You, in, in the evening, <laughs> yeah. treat yourself. Yeah. Perfect. Um, but you brought up I'm a celebrity yeah. and I have a question about that, right? Yeah. How real mm. is it? Like in terms of, because when I see a lot of TV and I know a lot of TV is, is very fake, a lot of it is manipulated, all that sort of thing. But how, wh what I'm watching, how real is it in terms of- How you know, many times do you have to eat the penis before <laughs> they get the good shot? Pretty much. I wasn't, I didn't actually get to eat that. I had a kangaroo asshole oh, instead. Kangaroo but asshole. Do you know what it tastes like? Cold mince meat. What a kangaroo's asshole oh, tastes yeah. like a cold- Cold mince meat. So it's not but actually that bad. Well, it wasn't, <laughs> I mean... do you know what it is? So I did it twice, the jungle, I did it twice. And when I say, because I was the one, I walked out the second time because every time the public kept getting me to do the challenges every day. <laughs> That's complimentary every, though. Well, That's complimentary, that. surely. And like the first time I was in it, every day I had to do the challenges. And then when I went in the second time and I swore on my kid's life the day before the public vote, then vote or the team vote, I said, I swear on my life, if they, if they vote me again, I swear on my kid's life, I am not doing it, I'm walking. I said, because it's not fair that I'm having to do the challenges every day. Because everyone else was all like dry and that. I smell You fish win them prizes as well. Wet, right? cold, yeah, and it was down to me to yeah. bring the food. Yeah. Um, and obviously they chose me to do it. And because I swore on the kid's life, they were there for three hours. My mum on the phone, the sites, really? everything trying to make me stay. They're like, Kate, this would be good for you. I went, no, I swore on the kid's life. I can't go back on it. And then when I looked at what the challenge was, it was such an easy one. I could have done it. It's what just, was it? Do you remember what it was? It was something to do with snakes. I mean, some people oh, don't no. like oh, <laughs> no. Not him. Not him. <laughs> But it was something easy compared to what I'd been doing. Yeah. But the point is, it was just until you're in there and it is hard, um, yeah, the hunger right. is the worst. But oh, I really? put on weight both times in there. I've got a weird metabolism and a lot of people don't like the rice and beans. So then I would eat them. <laughs> um, I mean, I love my well, food. You were just scoffing everyone's rice <laughs> well, and no, beans. Well, no, they wouldn't eat it in the end. Yeah. Some people are like, no, I can't eat that. And I'm like, well, if you're hungry, I'll eat anything, you know. Yeah. But the eating challenges, it's weird. I don't know if any of you have run a marathon before. And the only way I can say it to people, it's always to do with your mind. You can yeah. actually do anything if you For set sure. your mind. Yeah. Like when you do the marathon, I'll go back to the jungle. It's like each mile, you know, you come to, you've got like 27 miles and then you come to 26 miles and you're like, oh no, I've got 25 miles to go. Yeah. And, you do, and then you get like in your head, like I can't do anymore, but you just keep going. It's the same in the jungle. When you've got that eating thing, like the live cockroaches when I had to eat them, it crosses your mind that I've got to eat a handful of live cockroaches. That is and yeah, it crosses mad. your mind like seeing them in your hand, because this is what I was like wriggling, right? And I hate cockroaches. You know, if you're on holiday or whatever, or in Spain or whatever, and you see cockroaches. Yeah, not a like, delicacy. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And to eat, put them in your mouth for one, it's just your mind. They're wriggling and you chew them because you're obviously kill it. And the more you chew, mm. the more they wriggle, the more it cracks, the scratch and it comes down. It's like, it's hideous, but you do it because you know you have to, because it's for right. the team. Yeah. And this is why I say to you, I'm quite a daredevil in the way that if I'm with my mates or something, 
and you dare me to do something, they know to be careful not to make me dare because they know I would do it. And it is a mind thing. You can do it. And like, what was the worst thing? Like the fish eye. Yeah, what, what, what was the mm. worst like challenge you had to do? I think it was the fish or the witch grub because it's alive. And it, the like, what, sorry? It's called a witch grub. It's like a big thick worm that long and about that thick. Have you heard of a witch grub? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. And, it, and, and the head, what you've got to do is bite the head off first yeah. and then you eat the body. Now that, you're looking at this thing like exactly like that, thinking, yeah. oh my God, I'm about to chew your head off. Yeah. And you literally pull it off. <laughs> and it's going, no. And when you pull it in your <laughs> mouth, it's like warm liquid and you're trying to chew and it's like calamari i can't explain mm, like just very rubbery oh it's disgusting a... and like oh it's gross but the fish eye because all my teeth are fake i've got veneers yeah and they're quite smooth they're so bright as well are they're, they? they're, they're very I, i'm gonna be getting some teeth whitening soon as well i might use now, mine you as are a fake, reference though. no these are fake because no, i fell I know, off a they're... skateboard when i was younger and cracked my teeth and my right, brother said right. don't go on my skateboard and i did okay learnt my lesson cracked my teeth that's like the opposite of a dare really <laughs> exactly yeah, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I ended up having all my teeth done. So with the fish eye, when you pull it in your mouth to try and bite it, I mean, there's pictures of me like out of it in my teeth. Because my teeth are like smooth. It's squeaking against it. I can't oh. grip to do it. And then when it is in the mouth, it's like, you know, when you go past the fishery, it's the taste of that yeah. smell. It tastes like that. Like a raw egg and calamari. It is and blood it's disgusting but you're over it now right I mean, you can't... yeah well, I mean if I actually challenge again do you ever wake up in cold sweats thinking oh no the, the widgety do or whatever no, it's called no but I kept thinking back. am I going to see it come out in my shit because <laughs> when you wait all this like the cockroach in that, you do think is it going to scratch yeah. my asshole yeah. that when it comes up because it's shells isn't it I mean how That's does it ridiculous. digest just some of the mad stuff that I ate but anyway that was a jungle so yeah that was challenging and the only thing I put in my contract was I couldn't jump out of a helicopter. Mm. So is that like your biggest? No, I've done three skydives, but so so why was the helicopter? Not... I think because <laughs> different altitude, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> literally. I think it's because I don't know you. You know you have to do it. Whereas if you skydive. I don't know if any of you skydive. So you know when you go yeah. up, when you skydive, you're yeah. in that little plane. Yeah. And I, I feel to myself, I'd rather jump out than come back down in that. Because mm -hmm. you feel unsafe and it. It's it like really a bucket. Yeah. yeah, it's horrible. And the fact, I don't know why the skydiving, I shit myself. I was showing off every time. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. But you know when your legs are hanging at the end? The and fear. you've got that person oh. behind you and they're like, one, two, two, three, go for it. It is the worst thing, that free fall, waiting for them to pull that thing. And then you're all right. But that's what I mean. So I can do these things. Like when I did SAS, oh my God, the, the editing they did to get me to rock climb. I mean, you know, come off a cliff edge. Yeah. Onto rocks in the seabed underneath me. The swearing was unbelievable. <laughs> they said they found the editing so bad. Because it's like, Just why do rolled. I put myself through all this? But I do. Yeah. What, it's mad. What was the best thing about the jungle? If, if the, the jungle, challenges were the worst? Um, at the experience, I think, because mm. it's it's weird because you've got so much time to think about things, and it's you, you start hearing the insects for a certain time of night and the smells, and you think to yourself, "Am I turning into some creep?" Superpower. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. And then when you come out to see other people and to see cars or like the McDonald's and stuff like that, you're like, "Wow, this feels really weird." Do you occasionally you forget about it. Like when you're in there. No, I always recommend if anyone's going to do a reality show, I haven't done them all, but I've done a few. Um, that's the one to do. What was that? Would you say that's I'm your favourite one? I would say it's more challenging and different, and it really puts you to the test, and you really are hungry. I, they don't give you pizzas and things <laughs> like that. Because you're actually starving. Like, see, starving. that's see, that's what I thought. I thought on the uh, like when the cameras are off, you're getting a little. You know, a no, chocolate, a chocolate I fudge wish. cake to keep He's to keep trying to bulk as well. So yeah. No, and I'll tell no you what, go. when they do give you a bit of chocolate, if you've won it with a bush chucker, you literally okay. lick it all day, make it last. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> and then you think a spoon of food, because you only get about four spoons of food, and you think, right, when I get out, I'm going to make sure that I appreciate food more and yeah. look at a, rice, um, a spoonful of rice different. But it goes out the window after a while. But 
No, it's, what, it's would you, what would you say? Because so you've been on SAS, SAS, uh, who Big Deals Brother, when? Big Brother. Obviously, I'm I found a that easy, Big Brother. I was gonna say, what's Big Brother like? I would, do you yeah. know? What? I actually I don't think I would go nuts. People. No, I was in there with Katie Hopkins oh. and Perez Hilton. That you, one. You beat her, right? Oh my god. She tried to have a go at me. For example, right? Am I allowed to swear on here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, please do. Right. We encourage so, it. Yeah. I'm only a I don't know if Harvey, <laughs> yeah. my son, has taught me patience, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm quite a tolerant person, quite a patient person. And I'm a Gemini, so there's lots of sides to me. But like, in the cut, uh, in the cut. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Did you just say something? No, 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 oh, I, I, yeah, just oh, star signs, but go ahead. Yeah, so, um, so say for example, I was holding a cup, Katie Hopkins would be like, Oh, don't you hold that cup funny? This is what she'd be like. And inside, I'll be one saying, "Why don't you fuck off, you stupid <laughs> cunt?" Like that. <laughs> and instead, I'll be like, "Yeah, I suppose I do, really, don't I?" I'd be like that. She would try everything she could to have a go at me. And then there was one day I let my guard go. But everyone said that's what made me in the winners because I won that right. show against her. Um, she started talking or something, and I just turned on, "Why don't you just shut up, you fucking slag?" And all of that. <laughs> and everyone was like whoa Kate has got it in her because yeah. she tried so many times I mean there were so many arguments in that one but I'm quite good at holding back does right, that yeah. make sense I think you have but to doesn't mean to say inside I'm not thinking oh fuck off what the fuck do you look like generally, what are you saying like, generally she seems like she's a bit of a bully though and people like it when people stand yeah but there's a bully and bully and then she started saying to me so if you've got all this money why are you doing a show like this and it'd be like oh, well fucking God. why not I want to do a show like this <laughs> yeah. or if you've got all this money, then why'd you take off the government for Harvey to have a, a car take him to school? And I'm like, because that's what he's, that's his rights. That's, yeah. And that's what you get for statementing at your school. But she's always trying to pick, oh, because yeah. you've got money, because you've got money. And I'm not flash with it. I, I fucking money's like the root to all evil. Mm, I right. realize that it is. Of course it gets us nice stuff, but you get to know who real people are around you mm -hmm. yeah. about money. You know, there's been times I know I flipped um, subjects you know when I'd go out in London to a restaurant and I know if my friends come I know they couldn't afford it and I know I'd pay the bill yeah, you yeah, know I've yeah. been there done all that and then you grow up and think do you know what let's see if any of them put their their money out on the table and they don't and I end up thinking do you know what? I don't need people like you in my life because it does get yeah. like that people look at you think oh well you can just earn money like that mm. but then like where I am now I earn money because I have actually worked hard to get where I am so yeah. I haven't been spoon fed it and uh so yeah, so that Katie Hopkins, yeah, Big Brother's a good one. And, it, and you said you went on that twice. No, I went oh, no, on sorry, that one. Sorry, one. I'm a celeb twice. Twice. Um, um, uh, Big Brother, and you won the the one time you went on it, you won it. Yeah, I don't know how. Do, do you ever? <laughs> so I, I, I've always thought this, right? And I don't know whether I would do this or not. So once you've, um, you know, been on a show like that, do you ever come out and then rewatch it to see what either people have said about you or like? Do, do you ever rewatch the program you've just been in? Do you know what? Not sometimes you want to like rewind back, or like if there's one bit then, you remember, I was like, I wonder what that bitch said about me. There was one bit, Cammy Lee. I shared a bed with her, yeah, and she was quite feisty in there. She was um, Mexican or something. She was quite feisty, and she used always used to go, "Girl, bye, girl, bye." All right, the time. right, right. And um, feisty little thing. She was yeah, feisty. But I shared a bed with her, and one time I thought she was talking about me to Callum Best. Yeah. And then I walked out the room and I swear they were talking about me. So I come back in and this is out of character for me because they put me in there thinking I'd be the feisty one to shake up shit. Yeah. And I said to them, I'm not a feisty person. I said, just because the media have made out I am, yeah. but I can stick up for myself. So anyway, I went back in the room and I went, if you've got something to say, can we say it to my face? Don't fucking slag me off. And everyone was like, what? Kate's just spoke. These are only the two times I kicked <laughs> yeah. off because I'm so just can't be asked to argue because uh -huh. I'm not ever going to see half these people again. So what's the point? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's um, And I didn't need to win the show and I'm not being horrible, but a lot of people do reality shows. I'm just saying, I'm not saying I'm the best at because I'm certainly not, but they need it to revive their career yeah. or they want the money. Yeah. I do it for experience and it's not like I need the exposure for it. So for me, I didn't care if I won the show or not, but so many of them try to play games this because they want to win the show. Yeah. yeah. And... When I went in there, I just had my boobs done and I had an infection in my boobs. So the surgeon had to come three times a week to dress it. It was that bad. Ooh. Two days before the final, 
they rushed me to hospital and they said, look, you can't go back in. I said, I have to, it's two days for the final. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. the day before they checked me like every four hours because they thought I might get sep septis. Yeah. Um, and all that they were all saying, um, Katie Hopkins, Hopkins and that was saying, um, why are you still in there? If you're ill, go, like go. One and I'm thinking, ones, fuck yeah. off. I'm, I'm just, I could fucking win now. Like you, I'm not <laughs> yeah. going off. Yeah, and then yeah, I won yeah. the show and it was like, ah, fuck <laughs> you. Cause I knew they didn't want me to stay. And yeah, I'm yeah. like, I don't give up on anything. But, um, so that was good. It was, it was nice to know that the public were behind me then. Yeah. Right, so here it is. Of course, so we've got a little advert. We need to keep the lights on. And as you got, can you guys, I don't know if you can see, but the, on the wide angle, this uh, th there is a light that is off. So just know that this is very much needed. Anyways, we're here because who knows wins is back. Now, um, I'm super excited to bring you guys this app again. Uh, if you guys don't know or you haven't been watching previous podcasts, um, essentially what it is, is uh, you go ahead and you join the fellas league for two pounds. You then and go and predict the outcomes um, of certain football games and there'll be like five or six games and depending on how you do um it depends on how much money you get because it all gets put into a big pot so when you put your two pounds it goes into a big pot and then um if you get four of the five right you're gonna get a share of that pot um now i'm literally looking at bts alex right now because guess what last time he put in two pounds okay he managed to predict chelsea to beat man city and the arsenal draw which by the way is so sus there's got to be some sort of insider trade there and honestly um he was there he was sitting in first place he had bagged himself 400 pounds from a two pound entry right and liverpool were playing 80 they were winning he had liverpool to win they were winning one nil against leeds and then in the 86th minute his pot got half they went and they equalized and someone that was sitting in second had leeds and liverpool to draw so uh, uh bts alex still walked away with what was it 200 and 260 quid from a two pound bet. I mean, that is outrageous, mate. He's absolutely cashed in there. Um, but yeah, that's that's how it works, guys. Um, you guys can also make like mini leagues within your just your friend groups. That's what me and the boys do as well. Um, so yeah, go ahead and check that out. It is, uh, it's such a fun app. And if you reckon you know a little bit about football, it's literally two pounds to enter. What do you have to lose? There'll be a link down below to the app. Download the app, uh, deposit, your, deposit your money, Join the Fellas League. It is an absolute popper. I promise you guys. Check it out. Link down below. No, so, well, I, th I I think over like the the last few years, ever since, it's been one of those like it's almost been like the media has been sort of against you. They love to twist things and mm. stuff. But in general, the public mm. have actually always had yeah. your back for the most part. Um, and so that that must be like a really weird thing is always ha having the feeling that like no matter what I do I could do I could donate a million pounds to a charity oh, and, so, and 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 there will be something wrong yeah. with yes. what I do. It's the wrong charity. Yeah, yeah. It's the wrong you're, charity. You're so right. You're yeah. so, but that's why I said to you guys before I said you're YouTubing like anyone out there like if you're trying to start a YouTube channel that like obviously me. I don't know why I didn't do it years ago. It's so much fun. You're so in control with what you do and there's no bitching. Or if you do, you say it out loud and like you finish it yeah. yourself. Whereas in my industry, you have the media mm, yeah. who, who pick on you, twist and turn things. And I think that's mentally where it affects you. Cause I know a lot of people who are affected by what the media do. And I've been in the industry since I was 17. Trust me, I have it that the stories, this, that, and they're not true. So I've had to build a wall, yeah. a resilient wall, which isn't healthy, but I've had to, to like now say, go and fire a cannonball at me and you won't touch me. Yeah. It doesn't mean to say somewhere in there it doesn't get to me, it must do. Yeah. So because of the media, they've made up a character what they thought I was like. This is why I love now YouTube, Instagram, all of this stuff. Because if now a journalist writes something, I pull it up on YouTube. I mean, yeah. YouTube or Instagram say, well, this story and this journalist, get your facts right. You're a poor yeah. example of a journalist. And name a bat. And then they write emails back to your manager saying, can they take that down? That's not fair. I'm really? like, hang Do on they a actually, minute. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, hang <laughs> on a minute. It's all right for you to write a story that's shit and damaging about me. Yeah. As soon as I out you, you don't like it. So it's like, bring it on. Because, yeah. You almost <laughs> like now because of these things, you have a, a voice and a following as well to yes. be able to call these people out for yes. the BS that they post. Exactly. That and that's why I like nice. YouTube when you can actually speak. That's why I did my books and yeah. do do my books is because you can tell it in your story and it's right. your words and yeah. you can 
My job, I suppose the more fake stories they write, the more money they make because I represent, you know. I was literally about to say, <laughs> yeah. isn't there some crazy stat? And I don't actually know off the top of my head, you might know it, but like it was something about there's always been a news article about you like every day for there like the is. past, uh, for like I the past, yeah, yes. for, the, for the past uh, certain amount of like years or something. Wow. There's always about been twenty years. It must have been, yeah. or maybe a bit longer now. But I'm not joking. I am not joking. There won't be any day or week mm -hmm. I'm not written about in a magazine or newspaper. I know that. That is uh, that's crazy. And, but they're not even. Tr and I'm like, if they knew what I was like. <laughs> How many, do you, how many of those do you pay attention to? How many of those do you read? Well, I don't even read, I just look at the headline and okay. I'm like, oh, oh, I look at Love the picture, it. I'm like, yeah, typical bad picture or this, that. Yeah. But I'm like, <laughs> Call me on the I'm story. actually yeah. boring. I mean, I'm not boring, but I'm like, I get, I'm quite homely, I just ride my horses and that, but I do have a laugh yeah. and stuff. It's not like even if I go out, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, well, mentioned, you, me you mentioned YouTube, and I love this, it. Yeah, so you obviously have your own YouTube channel, but you also featured on uh, one of our friends' channel, the Sidemen channel. Oh, that was such a laugh. I got credit for that from Junior because my son's 15. Uh -huh. And he was like, oh, mum, you can't be doing the Sidemen. Don't show me up. What are you doing? I said, who are the Sidemen, Junior? Like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. he went, are you kidding me, mum? I've been following them for years. I went, oh, with you? Like this, all like, yeah. all right. Yeah. And then all these friends have watched it. Oh my God, your mum was so sick on it. And all yeah. that went, oh, so you have got to call mum Junior like yeah. that. Because they were like, oh, you handled yourself all right, actually, mum, like that. How did, how did you find that film in with, because uh, it was uh, the blind date video, right? And yeah. Was it during lockdown? Is that why it was done yeah, over Zoom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is a bit, is a bit of a shame. It would I, I think it would have been even I'd funnier. I'd love to do stuff with him again. Yeah. The thing is, when I grew up, girls hated me. So I hung out, most of my friends were, gay guys or straight men. Yeah. So I've got quite a man's banter. I yeah. mean, I could, I'm a girly girl when I want it, but I've got that banter, yeah, yeah. you know? And I think that's why I got on well with them. It's like, I'm not shy, give as good as all they the, get. But it was banter, not be ta taking the piss, not in a cruel way to yeah. like, For sure, yeah. put them down, but just like, it's equal. If you like. read the, I read the comments on it and everyone there was like, you were by far the best um, out of anyone that, that was on that. And I think that, is because of exactly what you said is yeah. the fact that look like these guys we all do it we, we're all we all love to crack an inappropriate joke yeah um but it's very rare that you would come across someone else that loves to give them back just right. just as yeah. much yeah. and the, all the comments were saying like they finally met their match oh really uh, yeah and and I, I think that's probably a really good way to sort but of it describe is about you. having a lot like with you guys now i'm just myself that's it top yourself up with some more <laughs> yeah. vodka sorry sorry i'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna do this i'm gonna turn you into an alcoholic can i <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. No, but it is, it's like, and this is what I do on and off camera. I just like to have a laugh, take the piss. I, I was saying actually to Cole the other night, like, is it Gogglebox? Yes. I, I yeah. just think people see a different light. Like, maybe I shouldn't do a show like that. Cause yeah. the things, I don't know about you, but when I watch telly sometimes, uh -huh. the things I say, I can't help ripping the shit out of some of them. Or I hate shows when they start getting the pan pipes out and someone's got a sympathy story cause they think it's gonna make them win. Fuck off. <laughs> We've all got a sympathy story. Yeah, Why yeah, play yeah. the fucking orchestra? You know what you like, need to do? Oh. You, need to, you, need, you need to do some like reaction style videos, like a reaction. I think that would be hilarious. Do you think, and just, yeah, but I'll be hated cause sometimes no. Oh, here we fucking go. Or no disrespect. <laughs> I don't care if someone's got disability or not. We're yeah. all the fucking same. Yeah. Like, you know, my son, I live and breathe disability. So I hate it. Like some people might come up to me and I'm not being horrible. I talk to people when they're like, oh, can you, some son so disabled, this and that. I'm like, yeah, but I treat everyone the same. It's right. like, but it's like on telly, there's always a sob story or this and that. Yeah, and oh, yeah. that drives me mad. Same yeah, format, every X Factor yeah. performance, there's, <laughs> yeah. there's, you know there's what I mean? something going on. Well, they on. wrote their song about this and that, which is good, but you don't need to fucking start milking. crying and yeah. milking it. Like, get <laughs> over it. No, but it, I'm nasty, you... I'm not nasty. But it's like, <laughs> or like, <laughs> if we're in the car and uh, I'm like with Cole, and someone's got a pizza or something, I think, imagine if we just went past on a bike and just fucking snatched it out of their hand. Things, I just think things like that would be funny. Make sure, I don't yeah. know what my sense of humor is, it's dry, but it's like, 
you know you a really need like, to you re do really seriously think about doing like once a week just reacting to one video and because uh, i've started doing a similar thing on my second channel but it needs to make people, me laugh nothing yeah. makes me laugh no no no, I'm no so but, dry humored no no but that's the point is it's not one of those things where you're supposed to sit there and laugh like the ones that i react to i do the exact same thing i'm getting at them and like you know if someone's given a sob story it's about uh, getting at them so it's not about reacting going haha this is so funny right, it's about yeah. reacting going what a load of bollocks this is yes that's um, what i'm like i must say like a miserable okay. twat at home and i'm not <laughs> but we're all the same i just can't watch it yeah or like oh it drives me mad it's like i'm telling you Kate, katie reacts Get yeah. that channel up and flying <laughs> soon, and and you know what? Then People then you'll get hate right me. Now. <laughs> then you then you'll get your million plaques. But I'm only being me. Do you know what? I mean? No, I know. Yeah. No, oh, but but that, but but that's the reason. People, I think people appreciate yeah. the authenticity that you bring. Th so. That's the whole point. Yeah. Is, is that, that that's the reason why people like YouTube is because I you know what you're thinking. I promise you is not just what you're thinking. Yeah. It's yeah. what everyone else is thinking, but no one wants to say. Like it. You yeah. guys did pranks and that with me. Like we did something. Or mm -hmm. you remember back in the day, the Jackass. I think there's some YouTubers who are worse than that now. Who, what are their names? TGF maybe. TGF. TGF. Was it them you was telling me about the other day. I mean. What the fuck? Which one was it you told me they did? And we, I want to see it. Yeah, he cemented his, his head into a microwave. Yeah. That was I a big mean, one. What the? That is. What? Is that a bit of you? Are you trying to well, cement I, I, you know, your I'd head? I'd like into to try these things as long as I can get out of it. I'm up for anything, but it's knowing who to do these things with and They're set them up. Me message them. Well, if you want to cement your head in a microwave, then message them. Because you can get out of it again, can't you? It's like. Well, they so I think, did they not have to get the ambulance? I, I think it's <laughs> a lot <laughs> riskier <laughs> than you think it is. It's a fire brigade, I think. No, but daring things like. I just think it's funny where you do things like that. I mean. I won't be jumping off any walls at the moment because um, I felt yeah, my feet. Yeah, wait, you have to tell. Wait, you have to tell us a story because oh, don't. I, saw, I saw you in a in a in a wheelchair. I guess oh, with I your, with casts around your feet. What happened there? So basically, we're on holiday and I was getting new teeth done as right. you do. So wait, and, are we uh, in Turkey then? Turkey, oh, of with course. The kids, Cole, yeah. and YouTube. Lucky YouTube was there. Yeah. <laughs> wait, did you did you catch it yes. on camera? Got me in the hospital oh. crying with my bent feet and stuff. Oh, He's God. filmed the whole journey, my operation. Like, it's been horrific being told I'll never walk again. So basically, we're on holiday and we're all mucking about. Yeah. And I, I am in I can be, right, can I just say something? Because I have created these laws that I'm doing, like Harvey's Law and Track of Trolls. So I am sensible when I have to go to Parliament and my select committees. Of course. But there's also a side of me where I'm very immature and I need to grow up. You know, I'm 43 yeah. in May. So no, I need that's to the thing. I don't think you need to. <laughs> He's yeah. laughing, Cole. He's like 10 years younger than me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's clear he's working on that then, yeah. Uh, I mean, I, yeah, I would absolutely agree with him. I think uh, <laughs> the cameras are coming, man. He, he already threatened to chuck hey, a... <laughs> that bad. So anyway... <laughs> So there was a wall. I must say, you, you guys can't see. It's about that big. Okay? okay, so we're talking like a three feet... Three yeah, feet, wall. yeah. And I've been going to this hotel for six years. So I know the hotel inside and out. Well, I thought I did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's and, a new um, <laughs> Yeah, so when you come in, <laughs> I know you know what I mean? And it was all grass and trees and that. Anyway, we're all mucking about. And I just was running, thought I'd jump this wall because I thought it'd be the same the other side. I just thought they're bushes, I'd jump it. Oh, Little no. Didn't I, know, I already know. I jumped coming. it. I didn't know there was an underneath car park. It was 20 foot. <laughs> right? Okay. On a slope. So I was at the highest <laughs> bit, landed on my feet. Oh, my God. And that I remember is brutal. Lying <laughs> I, was, I just sort of remember lying there, and then I tried to get up, and I'm like, <gasps> And then the pain just went. And then my friends were up there, called an ambulance, and it was a nightmare. Basically, the doctor said- Hey, hey where are you going? No, this is worse. <laughs> so I, we, when we went to the hospital, I was in agony. In Turkey, they said I had a hairline fracture. So they put them all in casts, so I carried on the holiday, even though I was complaining. I said, and everyone's going, Kate, you've only got a hairline fracture. You yeah, know. that does sound very minor. <laughs> a hairline minor. fracture is literally a hairline. I didn't yeah, know yeah, yeah. So when we got back to England, obviously, I thought, okay, well, I'd better go and see like surgeons and stuff to see yeah. what I've done. I remember their faces looking and they got more people in and I'm there on the bed looking at my feet, black and blue, like all bent and wet and swollen. Be careful. And they came out, yeah, and they <laughs> yeah. went, Kate, whoever told you got a hairline fracture, 
are absolute lying to you. I said, what do you mean? They said, if you're gonna smash your feet up, you've done the best job you can ever do. <laughs> I said, what do you mean? They said, they're in bits. Like, imagine an eggshell, all cracked. cracked. They're all like that. Oh in my God. bits. And did they, they not do like an x-ray you when you were in Turkey? Well, I can't remember. They did, I think, didn't they? But they said hairline. Yeah. So but they did an x-ray and they've gone, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just a minor one. I wouldn't worry yeah. about it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go back that, to those doctors. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so yeah. So the people well, in that might... case is a hairline. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. I'm not paying that. But these guys said, don't have it done here. And I'm like, well, I might as well just do it while I'm here. And yeah. they said, no, do it in England. Definitely. Luckily I did. Yeah. And they said, um, it's completely life changing what you've done. And I'm like, right. Oh, God. I said, what do you mean life changing? They said, well, you're not even going to be able to walk for 18 months. They said, what? it's the worst break you could ever do in your feet. So. Underneath my feet here, I've yep. got it on my phone. I've got nine screws under there ah. in my foot, metal plates <laughs> and screws all in my heels. They've had to pull it all together. Um, so they said I can never run again, even though I sort of try, but I, oh, I can't. It's sort of, even yeah. to open a window, you know, the window yeah. you have to jump up. I'm jump too up. scared in case I land and a screw pops through. Oh, oh no, ah, it is like that. Oh, so that now, makes me cringe. Now the thought I walk of it. on hard floor. Yeah. Or if I bang my foot, it's like being metal to metal like, on my feet. <laughs> going on holiday must um, be great. So I had to yeah. be in a wheelchair, learn to go in a wheelchair, and it was a nightmare because I'd sort of, it was my first sort of month I'd met Cole. So we got to know each other very, very quickly because obviously he had to carry me to the toilet, put me in the bath, oh, and I could get my wow. feet wet. And coming back in the airport, we, we had to go in a disabled toilet, but it had we on the bloody toilet seat so i said no 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 don't put me that so he put me in the sink and it was a tiny little sink, so I'm you in to sink. Piss in the sink. so i pissed all <laughs> over him right and there's everyone waiting outside the, the room yeah yeah i mean hey look it, it sounds like he's struck <laughs> yeah. gold to be honest no, right. you, right? so yeah. I pissed, i'm like don't drop me don't drop because it's all like you know when you get all pissed in public toilets, yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. Gross. he's slipping about and then the dryer's going off and everyone's like, are you all right in there? We're like, yeah, yeah, fine. I didn't want to say I'm pissing <laughs> in the fucking away. sink because I've got a disabled toilet. <laughs> what? Oh, and oh. he had all pissed <laughs> over him. And you're, and you're and doing with the, the door cast on, on your feet as well. Yeah, you couldn't get them wet. Oh, so anyway, I spent eight months in a wheelchair. Um, so I am walking, I'm riding my horses now, which is fine, yeah. it's not weight bearing. So I can walk, but I need physio three times a week. I'll be in pain wow. forever. Wait, um, oh, so it's like a, it's not terminal pain. What's it called? Chronic, chronic pain, pain. Chronic pain. So I've got that forever. And how how bad is that though? Is it like... I mean, like I, I keep moving like that. It's not because I'm moving like that. It's because yeah. I'm constantly doing that for my feet because they, they ache. Yeah, yeah. And it was like, sometimes it feels like electricity going through it. it um, but so they said 18 months. And how long has it been? I've been, it's not even, about eight months now July. it's been. July, I did it. July the 29th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He July remembers the 29th, this. I become a dwarf. Well, yeah. Because I had to crawl around. Right, right, right. And in a wheelchair. And do you know, I have respect. Only if you're out there in a wheelchair, I have respect for you because I know what it's like. So even I'd sit on the sofa and I'd want to close the door mm. and I'd think, how can I get there? So I, I bought these pads. You can get them like in a, a DIY shop. Like, um, yeah when someone's doing gardening or something, the pads, I put them on my knees because yeah. I started getting blisters on my knees from running Crawling around. around. Really? Yeah. I used but, to have those pads when I played volleyball. But yeah, it might have been like that. Actually. That's a different story. That's one for a different <laughs> yeah. one. Anyways, anyways. So anyway, it's not a sob story. It's happened. It's happened. <laughs> Deal with it. Move on. Yeah. It's just another story to my life. But, um, I can That's walk, amazing. but I want to do the marathon in April. I won't be able to run. Sorry, it. what? <laughs> Sorry, you <laughs> just said you, you, you. You've just said that you you're not supposed to be able to walk for eighteen months, and now you're telling me uh, because I'm only twenty six miles. Yeah, no, I've done it twice before. <laughs> I've um because they've all healed now. Like I've been to, them, it has all yeah. healed. They don't recommend running yeah. because obviously it's. I've got so you're gonna drive it? Wait, no, I'm gonna. It? We try and fast walk it. Oh, thing. speed walking. Or something to do it because I I can't be told I can't do it because I can every way. Well, we should definitely shouldn't skateboard it because we know what happens with nope. that. Yeah, my teeth. Yeah. Um, what? Yeah. What? So so what? You think just like 
well, surely walking it is going to take you absolutely. Yeah. Well, when I did it before, it took me seven and a half hours because both my knees went and the ambulance people told me to stop. I said, no, because I won't get that money for charity. I have to get along. Seven and a half hours it took me. I was one of the oh, last people. Oh my so God. I did it. Do you know what? But that's that's <laughs> better than I sport around London. <laughs> yeah, yeah, stroll around London. But at the same time, that it, like, I mean, I've never done a marathon. It's so and, uh, hard. Yeah, yeah it, w- it wouldn't surprise me at all. But what, it, um, when you do, what m- mine is the hardest? Like, what, at what point do you think to yourself, "Oh, this is yeah"? Is it, it break? Wait, when you, you go over Tower twice? Bridge, yeah, Tower. Twice. I didn't finish it the second time because uh, I was late and. <laughs> <laughs> But I had these massive because my mum she's turned me ill with this IPF like for her lungs. So I had these massive lungs made. So not okay, only that cool. I had these lungs, so I missed the start. Oh, that's cool. And they wanted me to By go how long? By how long? Oh, I was the only one on the start, they were way ahead. So you can see on my program. I'm at the start and I'm like, can I go now? Okay, over the line I went on my own, everyone had gone. So by the time all the people, the crowds in the street were there, there was only about 10 people and it doesn't really drive you. And instead of all the crowds, come on, and running with everyone, it was like, oh, who am I actually running with in these wings? Like, and so what, you got so I only got to about 12 miles then. And then you just own. sacked it, because you were like, I this thought, is outrageous. Fuck this, dropped the wings and apparently a policeman picked my wings up, took yeah. them to the station, so I got them picked up. Okay. And then I just thought, stuff this up, I, I can't do this on my own, I'm, it's dangerous. Because everyone yeah. had gone, I'm not gonna run on my own. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the middle of traffic, crowd. with but, a set um, of wings on as well. Yeah, exactly, but Tower Bridge, if anyone who's done it or watches it, it's when you go over Tower Bridge, it's hard then because you see all the other runners, they've already done Canary Wolf oh, and they go the other oh, way and you feel no. like you want to jump the fence. Yeah. But it's all to <laughs> you jump know, the fence, you, yeah. you're tagged in your trainers so you can be tracked. So if you do is that, that actually... they know you're treating. Yes, did you not know that? Wait, so d- is this yes. for everyone? Is this for <laughs> yes. everyone? So you, they give you like a tag thing. That's how they know where you are going around the track. Interesting. Wow. So what mile was, What mile is Tower Bridge? I Just think it's interest. the 12th. So and then and then well by the time you go around Canary Wharf, oh, you, Canary Wharf yeah. isn't the best. It's not as busy and it's cold and quite shady. And, yeah. yeah, and it's, it's you wouldn't think it when you drive along the embankment. You yeah. think it's straight, but when you run it, it's a slight hill. Yeah, no, there is, I used surprised. to live there, and yeah. it, oh, there, it, it, it does go up yeah. and down quite a bit. Yeah, but um, it's still a good feeling to do. Really good when you see that finish line, you're like, yes. Just get me there, and you just collapse. Cause what, what did you do? To, what did you have to eat to celebrate? Or what did you do to celebrate? Oh, I can't. Remember. It was years ago now. Oh, okay. well, not that many. No, that three years ago is the last one. You know, I've like a, a, I, I would have gone out and got absolutely hammered yeah, after something yeah. like that. Do you know? I was more interested in walking. Your legs just go. My really? mum, dad, we've all done the marathons. My brother's done loads all around the you're world. Making me, you're making me. You know what? I need, I do need to do one. My friend. I'm not Ethan. a fitness fanatic at all. Yeah, I'm more into the horse riding, but. Since I was in the wheelchair, I've put on weight, and I know Cole hates it. Because <laughs> so, I'm always like, I'm, I feel fat, and he's like, oh, shut up, whatever. Yeah. It's just a normal girl, what we like. But anyway, I do want to start training again. So we've got yeah. some bikes, bike riding. So I might uh, we're, me, me and, me and bike Reva are really into yeah. cycling right now. Yeah, we, I love it. I bought some good bikes. Yeah, that's what that's exactly what we've done. We spent a bit of money on some new bikes, and I'm not going to lie, we are those, uh, those. Mountain bike or racing bike? No, we got a, a gravel bike. A gra- so, so in like between, a it's closer hybrid. to a racing bike. It's got like, you know, the curved thingies. It's a pretty serious yeah. bit of gear. But we are also those guys that turn up in like the full lycra. Yeah. Oh, really? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I have those got all guys. That as well. You've got the lycra yeah. as well. But all right, you okay. feel better like oh, it though, sure. didn't you? Yeah. I, I go 10 times as fast with it in that yeah, lycra, I'm telling you. So, like, the coal, for his yeah. birthday, I got him a bike. And, um, and I said, well, he normally, when I'm on my horses riding, he comes along the side on the bike, don't you? But now I want to go biking. But I would like to do like London to Brighton bike ride. That's stuff literally like that. what we're, we're going to do. About, we're and the Paris next to London, week, my dad do does that. it every year. Wait, Paris, Paris to London, you can do. Do you get a stop off? Yeah, you stop off, Paris to, to London, and then the London to Brighton. I think the London to Brighton, you've got the Ditchling Beacon, if anyone knows, it's quite a, near the end of Big Hill, because I used to keep my horse at the bottom. Yeah. That would be hard to do. But that's what I want to start doing. If I can't run it, then I'll bike them. Yeah, well, that's exactly, yeah. me and Reeve want to do the London to Brighton one. In, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. We should, we should do it. We'll stop YouTube up. and that, shouldn't <laughs> yeah. we? You, yeah, exactly. Well, what do you want, so. Uh, but generally, that's what I want to do. But the thing is, I like biking and off-roading. 
but it's the change in the tide. Do you take the kit with you? Because when you know you start biking, you think, oh, I might need to take this with me, my water bottle, and then, yeah. but do you take the kit, like, in case you get a flat tire? We've never experienced that yet. So yeah. that's what you've got to do. Yeah. So think about it. If you're going out miles on a bike ride. And then you're busted. And then you're busted, you have to walk back the bike. So yeah. well, learn to change literally, the tire. Literally, all I take out is, is my phone and, and and my keys. That's it. You're it. jinx now, you wait. Next time oh, you go no. to the bike No, it'll be when I do the London tour. Yeah, right, imagine, imagine, yeah, will but you'll get help there. But imagine, like, you think about it. If you get a puncher, you're um, fucked. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I don't know how to change a tire. Yeah, no, I, I don't know, even I don't. know how to change a bike tire. No. To be honest. Do you know how to change well, a bike tire? it's the inner tube. Well, some of them, you get that filling stuff, don't you now? I think you can put in. Or just like the temporary fix. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So I remember back in the day, because I used to cycle to the horse, you used to get them take the inner tube out, didn't you? Find where the hole was and then put like a plaster thing on it with the glue. Yes. I think yeah. you, there's an easier way to do it these days. You Maybe know, you, you should know do way, that. You know <laughs> way more about this stuff than me. You know what we need? We need a bike fixing tutorial on the YouTube <laughs> channel you right I there. Think everyone does. Cause yeah, oh God, flat tires. Yeah, baby. Guess what? It feels weird um, doing this particular ad read without Chip because we always have the most outrageous things to say. But guess what? Manscaped are back and they're better than ever. <laughs> Um, sorry to all the audio people listening. That would have been very disturbing. Um, anyways, guys, yes, what? Guess, guess what? Yes, what? Oh, I'm having a shambles here. I'm losing all composure without Chip next to me. All right, here we go. Um, Manscaped. Flowers are blooming. Oh, they've got a new little script for me here. The, the, the fl flowers are blooming. The grass is growing. And it's time to mow your lawn. Thanks to our sponsor, Manscaped. You can help trim the hedges below the belt safely and efficiently. All right, so guys, um, spring has sprung. I like that. Spring has sprung, um, and Manscaped has the best tools to get you ready. Um, and uh, obviously, with that being said, um, th this podcast is quite inappropriate, um, and I feel as though um, this couldn't be a more suitable ad, really, about shaving your downstairs, which, by the way, is so important. If you're not already doing it, get it done. Um, I'm not going to lie. I have, I have been slacking. I need to get my Manscaped, my lawnmower out ASAP because it is looking like a whole Amazon forest down there. Forest? Is it a jungle? A rainforest. It's a forest. Um, all right. Anyways, sorry. I, I was going off track. Anyways, Manscaped are the global leaders in men's below the waist grooming and for and have forever changed the game with their amazing products. Have you heard of their weed whacker? This nose and ear trimmer provides proprietary. Oh, I came with that. That was just one tape. Proprietary. Mmm. Um, skin safe technology which helps uh, to prevent nicks uh, snags and tugs in those delicate holes okay that's mad I don't know about holes but yeah in those areas certainly um, so yeah the Weed Whacker uses 9,000 RPM motor, 360 degree rotary dual blade system. Manscaped is making weed, uh, whacking your weeds a uh, time to look forward to delivering maximum confidence while providing hygiene. Speaking of incredible hygiene, Manscaped has, formulation, has formulations to keep you fresh and ready for everything that comes your way all day. Um, and uh, as a little treat as well, you'll find that there is a crop reviver, uh, which keeps your balls smelling fresh, just like spring flowers. Um, speaking of smelling fresh, uh, complete your grooming game this spring with new refined cologne. Signature scent by Manscaped. Uh, this stuff is legit and will have you smelling like royalty. Seriously, guys, I'm not even joking. Use this stuff downstairs um, because when uh, your lady or your man... I, I, oh, whatever. Just where whoever's going down on you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we, we, we can't get that. was a sticky one. But whoever's going down on you, uh, you want them to to you know enjoy their time down there. You know, have have a nice time. Enjoy the smell. The taste, whatever it is, yeah, just enjoy it. Um, anyways, guys, if you do want any of the Manscaped products, you can check out manscaped.com forward slash the fellows. We'd really appreciate it if you guys went over there and check it out. Um, oh, and uh, just uh, last thing 20% off uh, if you use the fellows, of course, um, and you get free shipping if you use uh, manscaped.com forward slash the fellows. So you said you um, you have a bunch of horses. Yes. So what's uh, so first of all, horses are fucking expensive, by the way. Uh, oh yeah, so it's, it's a hobby. <laughs> there, no, there's no cheap way. I've had them at home, had them at yards. There's no cheap yeah. way of doing horses. They, they they are genuinely extremely expensive. How how much do you reckon it is like to to maintain a horse for a year? Like because you've got to pay so much money to keep these absolute units. They I, are. I, I, and I've got a I, I've got a 
another challenge I want to bring up just after that. But yeah. how, how much do you reckon it is to like just maintain a horse for a year? But this is how I put it in a category for you. Okay. Do you like your cars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I quite like. Right. Oh, I quite like cars. So. You can get like a. Um, I don't know. You obviously <laughs> yeah. got no, 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 no. That's fine. Because you can either get a shit car or a fucking amazing sports car. Got you. Mm. It's like that with the horse world. Okay. You can have like a pony. What I call a shitty, hairy little fucking thing. <laughs> or you can have a nice little warm blood. Car. What, wait, what is like the pinnacle of horses? Like if you were like, I want well, you can have like the, the Arabian Rolls, Stallion, you can have like the Rolls one from the Lloyd's. Royce 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 I like minis, but I mean, you can have like the Rolls Royce. The Lloyd's TSB the horse. Oh, see, I'm, all my horses are black. I have got one color. Yeah, I love black horses. Yeah. I love that and I love black yeah. horses. My, I do dressage, which is different. You know, all the fancy yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Footwork. I love all that. So the kind of horses that I have are expensive because I can't keep them out in the field. You can get some horses, you know when you're on the road, you see horses out in the field yeah, with yeah. a rug on, all hairy and yeah, yeah. cob types. Them you can keep out all year round and you can keep on the grass and just give them some nuts. They're cheap to keep. Yeah. Now horses that you have to keep in a stable right. all year round or overnight, the, that's when it becomes expensive because they need hay, feed and and if they're a sports horse that you treat them like athletes. So yeah, it's, it's just depends what kind of horse you got. It's not just hay, it's m &S. So, uh, yeah. and, and then yeah. I, get, yeah. <laughs> I, I, get, I guess the- uh... Sorry, that was really immature. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. Um, and, and so you- <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, and so to- I recently got a small, small horse. Yeah, he did, he's actually just got a, a what, horse. What, you right have? Yeah. yeah, dog. Yeah, it's a dog. It's a small horse. Yeah, what, what, not a Great Dane? No, it's, it's, it's a bocker. It says a beagle, cocker spaniel cross. Oh, they're smaller, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we said a small horse. Yeah. Like, we well, meant I've got really small. small. I've you got, got a dog. the daddies of a dog. Oh, is it an absolute unit? He's a black German shepherd oh. protection dog. He's wow. so That's sick. That is cool. very sick. Yeah, I was literally oh. about to say that's very cool. The reason I got him, because I've had so many kidnap threats and stuff, um, as he, as he, oh yeah, just like. By the way, oh, like, I've had I loads know. of, I've had loads of, loads of. When I did the SAS, and you know yeah. when they interrogate you, yeah, and um, no one's gonna come barging through the door. No, yeah, no. Don't, and the dogs just sat in the corner you, here. They said afterwards, the way I'm just so matter of fact about the way I've talked about being at gunpoint yeah. and um, kidnap threats and that. They're like, you're so blasé that like, I'm like, well, when your time's up, like, what what can you do? Sit and worry. But anyway, I've got I've got a protection dog from um, protection. Yeah. Uh, so, so it was bred for protection. Weapon. It is a genuine protection yeah. dog, right? So okay. like, um, like even Princess, because we got hijacked in South Africa at gunpoint and we thought we were going to die and everything. But anyway. Um, well, you can't just right. say, but anyway. That's... But anyway, we'll get into that <laughs> in a second. <laughs> no, it was horrific. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, we were filming as well. I had no security, but it was horrific. Anyway, she had to have therapy as well because yeah. she would not get out of the car. If I was at the petrol station, even now she worries. Yeah. Um, so I got this dog and I had to prove, I mean, if you're on Instagram and uh, uh, protection worldwide, I think they're called, they should be called yeah. that. You'll see our video on there because to show Princess how good the dog was, we had to make up a scenario where she's playing with the dog in the yeah. garden and I'm sitting there and two men come with balaclavas on to try and choke me out. Yeah. Um, Put me in a triangle. No, I'm joking. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, this uh, sounds like a bit of a sex fantasy. <laughs> <away. I'm laughs> right. like, you know. Kidnap me. I had to clarify. Then you hear yeah. shout out, blade, blade. Yeah. And straight away the dog can see and just fire straight at them. And obviously they got their arm protection on and yeah. grabs them and won't let go until I say blade out and close. And it comes straight here and he's like that on and won't let them go. And then I pretend to call the police. I mean, he's that well trained. Wow. That, Jesus. Like. Literally, if he's there, I'm like, play close, and he'll be like, Whoosh, here. The, oh, like, like if, even and, if you say it really words. quickly, it's just like, <laughs> that's yeah, great and for a walk. Yeah, he knows the words, or even knows, yeah. I have to be careful where I take him. Like, oh, really? I can't just let him off the lead. No, because he's a weapon, known as a weapon. <laughs> Wait, um, he's known as the weapon. But I'm sure he's But lovely, no, they are right? known as all the yeah. trained dogs. Like, so they can't treat him like- How does that, how it's does a, that it's work? It's really then? good with the kids. They brought down four different dogs for me to look at. Yeah. And a giant schnitzer, what are they called? Giant schnitzes are. They don't look like they're, I can't say okay. the word right. That's fine. But you would never think that them dogs are guard dogs. It was mental. Anyway, and then he brought down three German shepherds. And it's how you, so I bought him as a two year old. It takes him two years to get to the elite level, what yeah. my one is. Yeah. How you connect with them first. And then they give you a few training sessions with them to see if they respond to you. So that's how it Got started. You. So now he knows I'm his boss. Yeah, yeah. And he had to be good with kids. He's amazing with kids, amazing with all of us, 
But if anyone, even anyone black, like wearing black walks yeah. through the door, that's it. He's on guard. You have to, just have to be so careful with him. Wow. Like if you're I, I, out, I, if yeah, people I was come gonna up, say, like, has there any been any situations where it's like, Someone, someone's come through and it's like they're obviously not a threat they're a yeah, friend or yes. something and you're there like actually yes. this could go terribly yeah. <laughs> yeah I have to be careful with them like yeah <laughs> look at Chris look at Qu Chris <laughs> the and behind Cole, the scenes look, cameraman and when yeah. Cole first met him and yeah. Chris what's Is he it, like yeah. <laughs> really he pinned you up love. against the car yeah, no, it sounds hey, fast. Hey, I've come around for your yeah. black tie yeah. night <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and you Chris what's he been like in it? Is it Really, really scary, yeah. Really? Okay. Someone came wearing all black. Jumped on her. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. But they're Jesus. amazing. How it's great they footage. Do. So, anyway, talking of dogs, <laughs> we've got him and I've got a little French bulldog. And I must say, do you know anyone who's got a French bulldog? They sound like yes. the shittest dogs they are of the all time. The smelliest little bastards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're yeah. fast. I knew this, stink. I knew this. They don't listen to you, and they're, we're still trying to train it. Dirty little thing. No, how old I, is I how just old is not even a year, a year in December. Oh, I'm sorry, but I, for some reason, um, these little Frenchies, whatever, the, uh, is disgusting, uh, dirty dogs. I'm <laughs> telling you, they're so popular, but every time I look at them, I think that's the last thing I would want in a dog. I want a dog a lot similar yeah. to the protective dog, the one that listens to commands, the one that you, you can, can throw train, a stick and, go and, walk and he'll go out. and get yeah, it. Yeah. Those other ones, they seem shit, and I know there's a lot of people listening, yeah, you probably got one of these dogs you've got a shit dog right <laughs> I, and, and there's no other but, but they, they walk around it's like a designer dog more than anything oh, i couldn't no, think of I've anything got, yeah, worse it is and it's gray and beige and it matches the furniture <laughs> <laughs> she just hides in there she is so cute i do love her she is cute but oh, she, she stinks and when she has this shit her asshole you have to wipe it because you just see it there mind you cold sounds like dog. a kid well, Cole's, Cole's got me into that. I mean, not into right. that. Wiping arses? <laughs> what, wiping arses or no, fair because... play? Oh, yeah. get lost. Because he's got a rescue dog from um, Romania. Right, and it's okay, the most that's cute. feistiest little thing. Like, right. hates everyone. What type of dog is it? What? <laughs> it's just a street dog. It's just a street dog. What about the size of your Romanian street dog? Oh, Roma Romanian street dog. This sounds like something that would absolutely fuck your day up. I'll be honest. Yeah, well, I was about to say. Yeah. I get... Mate, the, one, the one in the house thinks was yeah. shit. The other dog shit up all the oh, time. Oh, don't. So then we got three of them dogs. Yeah, okay. And then the Romanian five kids street from dog. Oven. And then me and Cole. So you can imagine mayhem. Yeah. It sounds fun. Yeah, it does. Um, <laughs> so I, I've got I've got this theory, right? And I, and because you are someone that are around horses a lot, I, I yeah. want to ask you what your thoughts <laughs> on this. Right? Is it they're willy? No, 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 no. Well, I mean, everyone knows they've got a massive That's a different cock, question. But this one is actually about me potentially like <laughs> scrapping a horse. I knew it was coming. Scrapping okay. a horse. Okay, what wait, just listen, listen. So, so I understand that you've obviously got dressage horses. They're very big horses. But oh, if yeah. you could just imagine, take take your mind away it's from that for a second, they, and and. And put your mind, I'm just talking about a normal horse, a very like, like you said. What did you just, yeah, just say? Any horse, yeah. okay. So, like a Fiat picture this, picture this. I'm in, I'm in a car park. It's me. I'm in one corner of the car park, and in the other corner of the car park <laughs> is one of these average horses, right? right? Do you reckon you wouldn't be able to outrun it? Do you reckon? No, no, no. no do you reckon that's worse? No, 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 no. Do you reckon I could? Oh no. Do you reckon I could Not scrap? That worse. Do, you do you reckon I could scrap it? <laughs> scrap do you, a horse. So, do you, yeah. Do you reckon I could batter a horse? Wait. So it's a bit, right, she's I'll thinking. tell you what, no, yeah, no, because because it's, I'll um, tell you how you can yeah. strap a horse. No if you way. put a vet coat on, because horses know what colour vet jackets are. Okay. If you put one of them on yeah. and went near the horse, then yes, it will scrap. I feel like that's an unfair advantage. Oh, okay, what, not, uh, what about? What, you, other than that, no, they're not just going to go for you and scrap No, 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 you. but I mean, do you, do you <laughs> think that I could, I could beat up a horse? No. <laughs> Wait, no, okay, so think, okay, how it's about this? It's and if it kicks you. Okay, but listen but to this tactic. I've never really seen this. <laughs> listen to this tactic. Well, I know listen when a vet goes near the horse in a stable, you're it's not going gonna kick near off. it. Yeah. Right, so this is my tactic to defeat a horse, right? right. Is I would two foot, you know, side tackle, two foot the front left leg, right? And it would immobilize the horse. You thought about this. Yeah. What's made you think about this? Because someone asked me if I, could, if I could beat up a horse. <laughs> number one, no one should beat up a horse. And no, of course, two, of course. I know, but number three, if a horse wanted to get you, they could get you. They're strong. Well, so Did you, you know their heads probably weigh, they say weigh like a bale of hay. I could, really? I, mm. I could lift a bale of hay. 
Yeah, if you go for his legs. Yeah, but, but so 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 you don't think if I if I slide slide tackled the front left leg. Maldini says if you make a tackle, mate, you've already lost. So. Yeah. So I, I'm yeah. side tackling, and it and it's and it's it's immobilized. It's now on on three legs, and it's very easy to push no, over. No, then flick its legs and get up and get you. No. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Not that I thought about it because I don't want to think of that. But you know, no. animal love is that. Like, I'm animal love, and he is an animal love. He's I am. just putting it in perspective that if he could. No, it's a would theory. Would you do it if a cow? Think of any four leg. Would you do it for a cow or a bull in the field? No. I can, no, 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 no. The bull, the, 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 bull, the, the bull I couldn't do. The bull I couldn't do yeah, because the, the horns yeah. oh, and all yeah. that, that's doing a madness to me. But uh, a horse is a horse is like... No, it's legs. They go all over the shop. There's really? No yeah, yeah. There's a you, saying that when a horse is in a stable and they call it cast, they got um, a stable's a square. Yeah. If a horse wants to roll in a stable, mm -hmm. a lot of horses can die from it and that. If they get cast in the corner and they can't get up. Yeah. If you go near a horse when it's doing that, they could just knock you out because their legs are like that. So you don't think, even if I, I landed that no. two-footed tackle on the front left leg. No. You still think it's no. bad me? See, I'm the only person that, everyone has said the same thing yeah. as you. Everyone well, there you go. That, yeah. I'm in that category. Are you no, in that category? No, you won't be able to. Do you know what? And, and there's no way we're ever going to find out the truth behind this potential theory. But, you know, I, I stand by my, I stand by my guns. A, a horse has never been tested, right? And, and it should never be tested, but. You've got that theory. I've got that theory. I've okay. got that theory. Um, so I wanted to <laughs> I, I wanted to ask you um, a question because we're gonna go we're gonna wheel it all the way back to uh, the media. Yeah. Um, and actually, Reeve wanted to. Oh, speak, I did speak about. Oh, you're there. You haven't asked me nothing yet. Yeah. Yeah. Here he is. He's getting ready now. <laughs> yeah. He's question master, really. We no, I'm joking. Did a car I'm joking. Ring a fire earlier, you, you, so. You've blown his confidence now. This is oh, the no, first no, time no, he's no, come no, on. No, Thanks a lot, Katie. Thanks a lot, Katie. He's the one drinking. You've come on here. <laughs> and, and and now my 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 standing co-host is confident shot and he's, he's, re he's what ready. What did he say to me when we sat at the table? Let's see how you do YouTube. <sighs> the yes, you put me on the spot. Go Over on, to um, <laughs> so you, I'm aware that you already know about this, but there do is I? a show on the UK, well in the UK, right, called yeah. RuPaul's Drag Race UK. And oh there yeah. Was a, there was a, an impression from one of the. Drag oh, I saw that. I've done a reaction to it. Oh, you have. But I watched but it with my seven and eight year old right. <laughs> I didn't know what yeah what? and it got taken off didn't it off YouTube took it off oh uh, really okay so what were I your, what were your thoughts on on it do you know I love it when people like I can take the piss out of myself yeah. so much and I think if you can't take the piss out of yourself then that's just boring anyone who wants to try and I don't even think he was he wasn't taking the piss he was Taking a piss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, but like a very caricature again, version. Yeah. Can, yeah. I find it flattering, things like that. I absolutely yeah. love it. And it's for him to think he could have done anyone. So I, I loved it. And yeah. I loved it. And I don't think anyone's got me yet, my voice. I know my friend Ryland tries to do it, go, oh, hello, but no, no one has got me yet. So keep trying. No, I would agree with that. I think <laughs> it's, it's quite contest. difficult. But would I love it. Would you ever consider no, going it. on the show as a guest judge? I would, Dude, yeah. yeah. I, I just love all that. And I'd love the drag queens to make me up. I would love their, how they do their makeup and hair. And I'm, I would try anything, like, yeah. But I'd love to go on the show. Yeah, that's I, my question. There, there you go. Oh, that's his one question for the show done now. Um, no, but I mean, with the, with the have whole- Have you ever dressed up in drag? No. Um, do you know what I have done? Uh, not not quite not quite that, but I've had um, my ma uh, makeup, my whole face done. Did with, you look completely makeup. different? Yeah, I did look completely different, and it actually made me um, very suspicious of a lot of people with a lot of makeup on. Uh, really? Be because because yeah. I was there, I, I was there, I was there. Like, <laughs> if I, if I look like this, I feel like I've been at a disadvantage my whole life here because <laughs> you know if I look like this now with makeup, you know I could go from like a six to like a solid eight. Or, or, or an 8.5 at least. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to the day where it, you, it, go, going out on the street is it, it, normal for a guy to be fully makeup up because I, I, I'll, be, know, I'll be I'll be looking absolutely this. fucking fantastic. <laughs> do you know what, I do say that though. Girls have it easy because mm -hmm. we can do the hair and the makeup. Um, and guys just, they don't, you know what I mean. like. Generally, you just go on guys like for their looks. Yeah, they don't. They don't. It has to be. A, it's almost like completely so natural. That probably will happen. Yeah. Eventually, but yeah, like a lot of you guys out there, you know, when you meet girls 
and you have your beer goggles on, you think gorgeous. Because I always ask, like, oh boy, I've asked Cole and that. Like, <laughs> when you meet a girl at night in the morning, do you ever think, yeah. what the hell yes, was that? Yes. And they all say yes. And makeup can make you look so different, as you say. Yeah, no, there's, that's one thing that I do say is, that, you know, you, you wake up the next morning, you, you roll over and you go, what the fuck? And what do you do then in that, in that situation? No, no, no. I love this. What would you do? It, so you've taken a moment thinking, oh my God, I'm going to marry this girl. This is a worldie. I've got a worldie yeah, on yeah, my arms. Yeah, worldie. Do you call it yeah, worldie? Yeah, worldie. Um, and then you roll over in the morning, you go, oh, what? That, that's not what I So you home. let them stay the night then? Um, <laughs> it's all for good. the mo- it, it, de- it depends. It, de- it depends on a lot of factors, but for the most part, yeah, yeah, no. Nah, uh, and I if would. you want them to go... Do, do you know what? Here's a here's here's a really good one that you that oh, I listen, use. Oh, listen, because yeah. I know what cold is. Really, you don't you don't think that I I should? No, no, he's ruthless. <laughs> no, no, no. So I I agree with that, but sometimes it, 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 if the if it's a good experience, you could like morning sex is oh, is no, class. Oh no, bad breath and that. No, I'm I I I, I enjoy. I think morning sex is class. Oh, but he's ruthless. So have you done yeah. this? So when he took girls on dates, so I am saying this because it don't, don't matter now, you're with yeah. me. So <laughs> he would, if he was picking a girl up for a date, he might yeah. meet them in the gym and think, yeah, they look fit in their gym gear. But yeah. a lot of guys say, if you meet a girl in the gym, they look completely different in their normal clothes. Right. So he would put their headlights on them coming out so he could check on what they're like. <laughs> this is new right. levels. <laughs> right. And then he would know whether to change where he's going to take them or not to a restaurant or not. And they'd always say to him, I, I haven't got a night, I've got to pick a friend up just in case he's got it an was L. A, yeah. Or he would text the mate and say, right, ring me up. I've got to get out of this. And then make yeah. out he's like, is you, are you well, men like that? Same. So what one of the, one of the best, uh, in the, the morning, the morning one was like, How do you get rid of them? If, if you if want the morning one bed? is, I, I, I've completely, I've got a shoot. Like, I've got like a filming shoot. But I've, if they're I've in your forgot. place. Yeah, if they're in my, oh, like, you know, up at 6 a.m., you go, oh my God, I've, I've completely forgot. I've got to shoot. You're going to have to go. And you get all ready. They go out the door. <laughs> just take off your gear. You get back into bed. And next thing you know, no. that is what it is. But And then and then you say to them, I'm only saying this because this is what he's like. And they're like, oh, should we do it again? You're like, yeah, yeah, I'll text you later. Yeah, text you later. And, and us nice. being girls, right? Ghost we like, wear the phone like that. Uh-huh. Wear it. Well, they haven't texted you. They haven't texted you. When you men, I've got no... There's no, no intentions. There's no. There's no. But but to be fair, like if you're getting one, if you're getting kicked out <laughs> before being allowed to stay the to stay the night, yeah. that should that should be the first. Like okay, it's probably not yeah. going to go any further. Second of all, you know, if if I if I ever had one of those six a.m. you know shoots yeah. to go to, that's probably another like say like would it would it really so, kick me so out? So with you any girls watching, uh huh. If they got an interview, if they stay till midday or the evening for a pizza. You're in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. <laughs> like, if it, if it was, if, if it was, you're all nodding. If you look and see, most men in here. Yeah, if the, exactly. If that six a.m. shoot got cancelled, one hundred percent, you're part of it. Guys nodding. So, girls, if you're watching this, what about, right there, but but from a girl's perspective, I don't ever do it. Don't do one night stands. Never. I couldn't put myself in that situation. I'm too shy like that. Believe it or not. Sure, but um, surely you've got friends, things like that. What is like the yeah, girls, the 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 girls like tactic? If like you know they've had the a reverse. guy around their house or whatever, and they go. Fuck, like, I need to get him out of here. Like, what is the, the girl's equivalent well, normally of the guy? My friends would either go back to theirs or the guy would get a hotel. Like, I don't oh, know really? girls who would really bring was... them around theirs, to yeah. be honest. Okay, that's fair. But enough. I can't believe how forward some girls are. Like, maybe I'm old fashioned and I've been brought up different. But a lot of my girls, friends back in the day, would be ruthless. And I say it to Cole and like Chris or guys around me, how do girls have the front to just literally go up and say, Do you want to go home with me tonight? That like, I would never yeah. do that ever do that it's so like, true you'll never see them again because they think if you're going to do it to them you'll do it to someone else like yeah. and i like to try and have a rule what like, is that rule, is the rule my, yeah. my mum always said don't sleep with them on the first night yeah um but then some guys you speak to say it doesn't matter if you do if you like them you like them so it, i you know the rules, <laughs> so the rules who knows? Like, <laughs> but i don't know but some girls i can't believe lot like on his instagram Right, we've both got each other's Instagram. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you want a call- seat? Yeah, call- so yeah. girls are going to hate you because I know everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, it's, it's quite, yeah. sounds familiar. So we have each other's Instagram. Everyone knows I'm with him, right, if you go on the Instagram yeah. pictures. But beggy girls still 
trying to inbox him or message him. Yeah. There was one the other night, went there, was with your dad and that, and some girl said, are you single? And I, I've done a voice yeah. note back saying, <laughs> what was it? You can clearly see he's not single. What did I say? Oh, well, okay. Yeah, play it. <laughs> go on, play it. What I said back. Could you imagine? Oh, here we go. So we've got there. Been, and the girl's just bad, responding back like, yeah. Yeah. okay. Is there any, could someone bring that to the mic so we can hear it? That would be great. I grand. mean, why would the girl even message him? Like, yeah, like, it's, one of the, it's a very pub, you know, like it's public, isn't it? And I'm like, do you want me to name and shame you that you're messaging him? And they're like, oh, oh no. sorry. But oh, I just love having but, Yeah, you love, you love <laughs> shitting them up, really. Oh, yeah, right, here, so, here we go. All right. So this was well, the voice message. What do you think message. of the girl first? Um, wait, well, well I mean, face as well. yeah, it's uh, you single. Oh, yeah, it's a bit. You single, go yeah, on. And then what did I write? This is what you, on his account, said. If he was single, he certainly wouldn't go for a dog like you. <laughs> I'm far better than you, my darling. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That is absolutely so, phenomenal. There you go. So, so I do think that. Like that. She's not followed him. <laughs> yeah. Well, surprisingly enough, she hasn't replied. Yeah. Um, well, no, but some do. Like there was some really? girl who had her hands down her pants, playing with herself, sent it to it. So I put the screenshots up and saying, "Some of you guys don't want to see." What did I say? Uh, fucking driblets down there. Driblets. So oh. And you have to name and shame them. Just like yeah. don't disrespect me. Uh huh. And so what you guys? So you guys have each other's. And so you can check his uh no i don't, we don't it's not that we check it's just you just have it there and we've just got i'm i've got nothing to hide yeah yeah of course and i think also look at me this is turned to relationships well yeah yeah if yeah there's yeah. anyone out there or in this room <laughs> uh -huh. or anyone out there what's that <laughs> yeah that's what i mean yeah, i yeah. always think it's open, open. yeah 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 if you can leave your phone on the side, faced up loud, yeah. go and have a shower on that and leave it on the side, nothing to worry about, you can sleep at night. Yeah. We've all been in a situation where you're like silent, turn it over, right. don't message, I'm at home, da -da, and you can't sleep because you never know if the other person might be drunk and then suddenly text you at night, pings up, oh, who's that? Um, uh -huh. Oh, uh, it's the carpet man, or... Uh, <laughs> the carpet man. It's the cleaner. Now oh, I've seen that video we before. We the carpet. Yeah, so it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Me and Cole have had these discussions. We've both been there, done it, and what's yeah. the point? Like, you've just got to be open, haven't you? And it's he can go through my phone and see anything. All I can his, but yeah. we don't because we don't have to. But There's no it's need. Do you get a lot of Instagram? Do you get a lot of men yeah. in yours? No, they're either gay men or girls want to do my makeup. Don't I really? Really? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Asking for money. Yeah, I'm not surprised. That that that's the I thing. Think, is... I think because you out them on your site, they know that you're gonna out that like you have a oh, go back he's oh, ruthless oh, we'll try to fuck <laughs> really oh, i will throw a camera at their head <laughs> yeah 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 one of those ones <laughs> sounding like liam neeson mate yeah, yeah. <laughs> it yeah. is laura biden citizen exactly oh, yeah. yeah 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 that that's a cracking him. film by the way that's we a great that film uh, but no so it's funny with relationships and that but you know I think nowadays especially with uh, Instagram and uh, yeah, and ruthless. online it, it is so different to before like obviously before it was either a friend through a friend or like you know you would meet them out and about but nowadays you're just one you message DM away yeah absolutely anybody yeah 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 whether and the amount of filth in the dms is is outrageous like you whether two you're do get a lot, Lynn, as well. you you, you just you get a lot yes not? i do yeah 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 and what do they feel about instagram it's what well she did like you know as long as i'm you know i'm not replying to any of these yeah. messages i'm not i'm not involved in these messages what if you it's like fine. a picture Okay, so that yeah, causes chaos. This is, this, this is absolute. This has is chaos. Caused, <laughs> that caused yeah. chaos. Yeah. I've learned my lesson quickly here. <laughs> yeah. Right? Is yeah. off the bat, I, I, you know, I was under, you know, uh, not strict instruction, but one of those ones where it's yeah. like, as long as it's not like a, uh, maybe the word is like a provocative picture. We have rules. What is, so what yeah. are your rules? I'm I curious went, to know. I went on a purge of female unfollowing. Oh, because, really? Because, yeah, yeah because you? Yeah, because I was scared that oh, i'll just see that and go for and, it again yeah, and then and then just it come up again yeah. you're yeah. just there so like, like oh. it, my instagram just turned into like just bodybuilding <laughs> bodybuilding <laughs> topless oh, guys right. and like he was very clever carl was before because me uh -huh. i just left a thing on one <laughs> no this is to do with all of us there so he deleted all the shit before so if uh -huh. i did want to look there was nothing and two right. girls still uh, yeah. anyway you haven't texted me um but we have rules and i think in relation when you say rules yeah 
I think you find, I don't know if it's when you get older, because you can't have one rule for one and not the other. Sure. Mm. No double standards. Yeah. 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 And then it works that way. I want to sleep at night. I can't be asked to play games, this and that, because it all ends in tears. And, sure. and it ends up in games. I'm going to get you back or I'll get you back. And then yeah. you end up not together. So our rules are, you are. <laughs> I'll cut yeah, your he fingers plays, off. What's that song you play? I swear, if anyone ever finds me on a slab, to what song is it? <laughs> yeah. It'll be him because there's this song he plays. He goes, Yes, you'll be on the slab. I'll be like that with my rubber gloves, that finger off. Sniffing off the finger. Off. Right, right. Goes, right. goes to bed so with the saw music playing. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it is like you can't have one rule for one and not the other. Yeah. So, so do, you, do you have like when it comes to, you know, liking pictures go. and things like oh, that? I don't know. You don't care? No, I don't, we won't do that. Oh, you, won't, you don't like, do that? You Sorry. Not, right. Why would you let that girl or boy know that you've liked their picture. But what if it's just a picture of them like at a meal there just, and, and, and you know that person on a personal level. And oh, you know, they're like, oh. if he knows them, but. Yeah, of course. There's no girl he's liking who he hasn't been with. I mean. <laughs> right, right, okay, yeah, no, that's <laughs> fair enough. Unless it's his friend, his girlfriend who they've known oh, as a okay. couple. Yeah, that's what I mean, and it's different, yeah. Oh, so if they're in a pair, yeah. it's or different it's a, because it's like, I mean, it's a couple's picture. If it's a single girl in a bikini and they've yeah. got no boyfriend on it and he's like, yeah, yeah. why would you do it? And what, right. and what amount like, of clothes <laughs> yeah, 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 she's yeah. wearing, is it? Nothing. <laughs> Anything that shows the elbows? <laughs> no. Even if she's got a tracksuit and a bin bag on. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> no, but no, it's, we have the same rules for each other, so... Yeah, I think that's pretty fair. It's just fair. a respect thing. Yeah, yeah, it is. And then, and then, what do you think about? Because I know uh, there's a lot of guys out there that say, um, "Oh, I don't want my girlfriend posting um, like you know bikini pictures well, or there, revealed." That. My whole career was that. I don't need right. to do it. I know I'd outshine any fucking girl out there. Like that. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, you have the biggest flex ultimately. No, but like, I've been there, done it, and like Cole said, you don't what, right. Like, they don't do their magazines anymore. So mm. why do I need to do it on Instagram for what? I used to get paid to do all that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, now you're doing it for free. That's just, <laughs> well, that's not worth it. Why do I need it? to do it? Like there's no no point for it. Whereas some girls, they feel they need to get there off because that gets their followers where I have got a personality Yeah. as well. Nice. So I don't need to stand there with my Brighton Bristols out and like but would you would you say <laughs> yeah. would you, okay so let's say you were giving advice to um and I wouldn't disrespect him either because he don't like that even I said to him he I, I was a pin-up for him but I was his poster girl and he was younger so oh you know what I'm saying fit, though. <laughs> oh, so fit. but when um yeah so he Trying said he always school. wanted to go with Jordan but to go out as a girlfriend no he's not interested because right. he's got to know me as a person sure and it is true like girls out there and most of it's airbrush catfish and not what they look like yeah anyway. for sure yeah. it's just bollocks a lot I love Instagram like don't get me wrong but I, like I say to princess so many girls you see on there are not like what they Fake. you think mm. they are oh they're definitely so. not they're definitely not. <laughs> we got all these. Definite, we, definitely not the case. See, but the guy, who, um, Chris, who does my YouTube with me, films it, and in Cole, because yeah. we're together all the time, they're lads, and you know. Yeah. We always talk about, when I say, oh, what do you think of that girl? And they're both like, oh, that's filtered. She won't look like that. Or they know, and they're like, yeah. she looks nothing like that. Yeah. And we just love the conversation of how different girls can look. It's true. Uh, and it's how true. easily that can be produced. Yeah, because when well, I started like, modeling, there was no airbrushing. There was no, none of that. It was as raw as it was. Whereas now, I can make myself look so amazing. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and I go yeah. to him, I wish I looked like that. He goes, you do? I went, no, I don't. That's filtered up to the eyeballs. I, yeah. I, I just love it. It, do, it does make you think though, like compared to uh, before, yeah. like you said, when you started, it was very much about like, you know, um, you know, there was probably a few editing, lighting tricks, things like that. Towards, yeah, but I yeah. know I made it purely because I made it. That, that was how you looked, right? I haven't right? made it by an Instagram. And now you can almost have, not anyone, but if you're remotely good looking, um, yeah. you know, from there, you, with all the fucking t uh, tricks and tips and oh, things they have now, yeah. you, can yeah. look, you can look completely different. I would love to have a camera, right, where you could, I don't know, even 
do you know what I mean? See the reactions of people where you see a girl who's gorgeous and you see a guy who thinks he's meeting that girl and vice versa, but have yeah. a camera in the room to make them meet. So they're really like- What, is it like you... catfish? That's the premise yeah. of yeah, 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 catfish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you're really like, what the It's not wrong, it's a good, it's a good TV like, show. Yeah. Catfish is good how they do all that, but like just something more simple, just to yeah. get their reactions up. What the fuck? You so so like you that? show them a picture of what they look like on Instagram and then, and then they, they, think they, they do a 180, they look round and there yeah. she is and you go, well, I would, I would love to be in a room and see. I'd love to see, get some of these girls on Instagram and say, look, do you want to come for a photo shoot? You look amazing. Just set them up. And they walk through the <laughs> Brutal room. Brutal, they're saying. Like, 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 are you? <laughs> oh, you don't look anything like that. No, we, like, we, we <laughs> answer this person. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I would yeah. love to. Is that brutal to do? We should do something like that. Do not <laughs> that's do actually, that. That's actually a very good video. Where we get like incredible 20 video girls idea. or 20 guys or whatever. Very brutal And though. say like, we've looked at your Instagram. We want you to come along because we're looking yeah. for someone to, you know, we'll make something up. Yeah. Oh, we've got to do this. There you go. <laughs> that, and then they come in the room and you're like, would you, you look nothing like this. What have you done or? <laughs> this is fucking, is it your crush crush you know, dream. How yeah. good would that be? I would love to watch that. Would you not watch something like no, that? No, you would absolutely watch it, but you'd be like almost cringing on the spot because the That's what the I'd girl, love. Yeah, 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 no, absolutely. <laughs> Um, oh, and then, so why do you airbrush your pictures? Because you've given me the false impression. So clearly you haven't got the job. Yeah. Like, I would try and keep on that straight face. Like, Do you reckon you could pull that job? off, yeah. the straight face? Yes, absolutely. Or they turn up and they're exactly like that. Absolutely. Have you ever been offered like a like a, an actress job or anything like that in like a, a movie, a TV show? Have they ever approached you and gone, oh, we'd love to have you on this? <sighs> what was the thing? Oh, and it was to be the babysitter. What's that popular film with the four women? The four women. Uh, Desperate Housewives? No. Because that's film. a fucking the banger. Which one? Yeah, sex, sex, in the, on the city. sex on the city. Sex on the city. Sex on the city. To be the babysitter <laughs> on, on that. Right. Um, well, obviously, I clearly didn't get it, but um, the audition to be that. But as an actress, who did get it? Do you know? Oh, I don't know. Did, oh. did you not, not go back and be like, oh, she's fucking yeah. shit? No, out of she's a better. shit babysitter. What's uh, going on? <laughs> I've never done action in that, but like, I, I will eventually want to do a film about my life. But I wouldn't want to act it. I'd want to get someone to do it. To do it. An, course, who would that be? Oh my! Oh, if you could have someone play yeah, you. Great question. I knew there was a reason why I brought you on this show. I would like to say, because my I clearly look different all the time, and who knows, get them on out the cupboard. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Carmen Electra as one. No, I'm aiming low then. No, I've done a shoot with Carmen Electra and Pammy. Um, They were my two Pam Ransom. They were two girls I always wanted to do. And when I did um, Playboy years ago, the photographer Arnie Freetag and Stephen Wader, they do the, they're the Playboy ones who used to photograph them all the time. Obviously I don't look like it now, but they always used to say I was an in-between of them both back then. Just to Right, help. right, right, got you. Not that I'm saying I thought it, but they just said by the way I pose. But yeah. anyway, them and then I thought Julia Roberts in my younger days, but she's older now because she's got the curly hair. I don't really know. That would be just, interesting. I think a I've life been about- I've so long, I've got different looks through it all. I think, I think a movie about your life would be yeah. so interesting. Cause you have like one of the most interesting stories and the fact that you're so still open um, in terms of like your personality and I think is I love, a I bit mind boggling to be it. honest. Yeah, everyone says- Because it's how? Like I'm fresh for it still. Yeah. Right? yeah. I love it sounds it. like it's like your first time like in front of a camera. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, it's, like, it's someone that has been through no, the absolute fucking ringer in the sense that, you know, the, the way you've been treated on like by media and things like that. Everything, and yet here you yeah. are. I would Still love to do it, but full then of I thought I approached some people in America, but in America they like you to have this script done and all of that. And it's like yeah. I'd rather just give you my books to do it. Like yeah. I don't know what to do. And then I thought, do I approach Netflix? Do they want to do a series about my life, a documentary about it? Because it's different to reality. Because I know yeah. I've done reality for years, and like you know, being on camera when you're with your mates. Yeah. It's reality, but to do an actual film about your life is completely cool. different to reality. Yeah. Um, I would love to do that, but I just wouldn't know where to go. If there's anyone out there, you yeah. know where to find them. Amazon, Netflix, <laughs> anybody yeah, knocking but around. They say like... Amazon's bigger now. What's bigger, do you think? Amazon Prime, is it, or Netflix? Do you know what? We don't discriminate on this channel. And anyone oh, really? that is willing to give us the money, we don't really give a shit. Whoever's bigger. <laughs> do you know what? It. Neither do I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Show me the money. The price is right. Calm down. The price is right. Pricey Woods. Hollywoods, pricey woods. Exactly. Um, Right, I'm gonna nip to the toilet real quick because I'm bursting for a wise, but we'll be back. One sec.
Yeah. All right. So now that I've had my piss, I feel, I feel about 20 pounds lighter now, which is nice. <laughs> um, but uh, no, I wanted to actually ask you a question about something that popped up. Um, and you mentioned like you, you and I, this might have been the reason why you got a guard dog, but there was a story about your house actually getting robbed. Am I right? And oh, then, they, God, but, but they, 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 the only <laughs> thing they took was like an I'm a celeb bag or something like that? Yes. So, so what's the story with that then? So the mucky mansion, my house. So I'm, go, I'm going back now. Is that what you now. call it? <laughs> well, no, the press named it mucky mansion. Now, mucky. The, oh. Mucky. Now the mucky. reason why, the press feel it's, the, the press feel that they have the right to fly drones over my property. What? Yeah. So it was about a year, two years ago, um, I was introduced to a guy who said he wants to turn my house. It's got 11 bedrooms, it's got stables, 10 is called 10 acres. Yeah. Now I'm not saying that to be big headed, I'm just explaining why he comes yeah, to me yeah, because yeah. of the plot that I've got. Mm -hmm. He said, would you ever turn your house into a wedding venue? He okay. said, you know, we could take down the tennis court, build you a brand new house on that. Um, and because of your land, he said, you can have the wedding venue because you've got the garden that we could put log cabins all in your field. The stables, we'd get new, new market yearlings in there and we'd do a gallop track all around your field. So I thought, bloody hell, this, this sounds this amazing. Sounds but this provided your living there as well and weddings are just No, I wasn't on. there. I wasn't oh, okay. really living there. Okay. And uh, so we got all the plans, sat with my mum and we're like, well, this... Yeah, well, it sounds like a bloody dream come true. He said, you'll make a fortune from it and stuff. And I thought, well, the house is just sitting there. I'm not really doing anything with the house. Why not have like racehorses, yearlings there, you know. Then I've got the wedding venue and then I'll have a brand new house being built on the tennis court. It can all be sectioned off. Great, who wouldn't do it? So I was like, yeah, yeah. And I was filming my show at the time for Quest, my reality show. So every time I went to the house, I'd see like diggers there and scaffolding going up on the house i'd go in the house and then they're starting emptying the house out and i had some containers and i'm thinking oh yeah he's starting to do stuff for me yeah and then cut the long story short um i thought his name was andrew george i mean it's all in the papers you can yeah. sit and you can google his name i thought his name was andrew george and it's all on the t-shirt, so it all looked legit. So it, it, pe people were just walking around with Andrew George on the Yeah, it's yeah. him. And he's on my show, talking, yeah, I'm gonna do this wedding venue. Cut the long story short, his real name is Andrew Chatters. You can Google the man. He's been arrested in prison twice for doing exactly the same to me as he's done to everyone else, fraud. Um, he's done the worst fly tipping on my land that they've seen he's earned about 1.2 million pounds from it he's stolen all my carpet all my floor and everything out of my house has gone he's completely wrecked my house so when you fly a a drone over it of course it looks a mess because it's been fly tipped on. yeah 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 so on top of so obviously that's a police investigation uh so if you google the man it says exactly the same he finds people with properties like mine, and he says the new market yearlings, you can read it all online if you it's look at the It's just the exactly same, same sales format. pitch, yeah. When I showed the police the plans, they're like, Kate, these are fake. And they said, I said, well, how, how do you know? He said, well, look, this dress doesn't even exist, this, that, and his name's Andrew Chatters. You can see his mug shot everything online. <laughs> so that's that. So I can't live back in there. He's ripped everything out, my yeah. family home. And then someone who knows me, I don't know who it was, they broke into my house because it's sitting there. On the second floor, they knew I wouldn't be there. Turned on my tap, knowing it would overflow. So the whole uh, first floor ceiling collapsed all oh into the God. lounge. Holy You could smart. see it online. Actually, you could see it on YouTube because we filmed it. Yeah. And then a month ago, uh, when it was snowing, one of the pipes burst on the very top floor. So more ceilings have collapsed. This is a cursed house. And it's definitely haunted. I've got pictures. If you Google me and the little boy in the house, you'll see, um, I put it on my Instagram, me taking a picture of a little boy sitting on the top floor, sitting like that. I've got pictures of oh a guy God. going through the milk because I videoed it. I put it on Instagram. You can Google it. And me talking to a candle flame and it responding. Everyone thought I was like, what? My no. friends. I'm this sounds you. mental, I'm you know. This you. sounds like <laughs> No, I'm telling you, my really? fucking life is nuts. I've had my friends in tears when I've brought up stuff about them that I didn't know for their family by talking to the candle. I've done Wait, Ouija so boards. It, so no. it, so yeah, like yeah you'll candle. see it on, yeah, you'll see it on Instagram, me talking to it, telling the flame to go high, low, high, low. 
I've done Ouija boards, everything. Anyway, now the house is completely clear. I now want to... Chris now wants me to do another ghost hunt in it and a Ouija board if you're up for it. Come and join. Fuck that. Do you hate that? No, no, no. You're, no, it sounds like whatever's going on in that house needs to be left in that house. But yeah. anyway, I'm getting it all cleared. So I've re- decided now to revamp the house. I'm going to okay. move back in, but nothing can be the same. I have to have new windows because I can't Everything. mentally. Because yeah. I went to the Priory last year. Uh, for five weeks as an inpatient because of all the shit that I've gone through and the kidnap and like um, the hijack. I just ended up in there and the house. So now I've come out, I can actually now step in my house and I feel all right. So now I'm like, do you know what? If it is haunted then there, I'm gonna get rid of you and I'm turning this house back around and I'm gonna live back in it. So I'm turning it back around. Even though it's half a police investigation because the fly tipping. Oh, you just couldn't make up my life. There's just always it something. It sounds like the something. craziest shit I've ever heard. It always it just, happens, it just happens to, me. to you. Always happens so, so to what me. Ha- so has that guy gone back into prison? Has he been arrested no, for it? No, because like, at what the happens? time, before I went in the priory, it, it, that just built up to it. My house, what's he done to my house, this, that. And yeah. If anyone's had mental health problems or build up or stuff, you end up, everything's just being a noise, you're like that. You just sort of go, oh, I don't know what to deal with. What do I deal with first? Oh, yeah. you just think everything's chaos. You can't deal with it. So I yeah. went in there, which was amazing. I would love to do a documentary on mental health hospitals because the shit that goes on there and people's stories and what people go for is so fascinating. How long were you in there for? Five and a half weeks. I was an impact. I wanted to be. I oh, wasn't okay. put in there. I put myself in there. Oh, is that what happened? You say, right, I I'm, went and saw a doctor and I just said how I felt help. and all of that. Yeah. And the story, when you're in there, it's amazing what people, you get like a lot of American military people in there yeah. who in the military, I don't know if a lot of people know that PSTD is so bad that they literally t- p- take you to places like the private and then you're expected to get on with your life again, which is hard for soldiers and stuff. There's a yeah. lot of that. A lot of businessmen in there who are living high lives, but now they can't keep it up and they're stressed a bit because of the family. And I mean, you get all sorts of people in there. I wasn't with the alcohol or drug bit. I was with like... I, um, um... I'm the only one here drinking but but even that was fascinating I mean oh you just couldn't make up my life so the you, you, I've seen you see uh, like in those what what do they call them like uh men like a mental institute a mental like what's the but it is, I suppose yeah you get people on suicide watch in there and, I, I was about to say so are you are, are you yeah you that, so how, so how does that happen how do, at what point do you go you out you have all really? different wings for different things. Um, do you not feel that compounds to like, having you know worse I headspace? It's like like I can't you're get trapped out of in some way. No, right? because y- you work so hard in there. It's like from eight till six every day. It's like being at school. You are in sessions, group sessions or single sessions. And I think when you sit there anyway, and you, it's like they reprocess your brain and you right. go around a circle, say your name. You know how you sit in the movies, they say your name and you say what's gone on. Yeah. And you yeah. sit there, listen to it. Well, some people you think, oh my God, are you only in here for that? You don't say it. Yeah. Yeah. And you think, God, if you've gone through what I've gone through, how would you cope with that? I mean, everyone copes differently with mental sure. health stuff. And some of the stories you hear are absolute horrific. And you think, fuck, it's like me reading a book about you. Like, there was, have you ever heard, read the book like David Peltzer? No, a child no. called It. No. It was about a mum who abused her child so bad, like make him drink bleach, make him eat tuppy sick and try to burn yeah. him and kept him out. There was a woman in there and uh, she had a life like that and all the the dad, the granddads were all, you know, yeah, abusing yeah, yeah. her. And you'd sit there and you'd think, fuck, that's happened to you. And yeah. you're such a nice girl. And she's like, well, I can't say. Yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you'd think, how's that happened to you? And you think of their life, what they've had. I mean, it's fascinating to hear people's journeys that why we're all in there for different things. Yeah, yeah. But it's so clever how they re redo your brain. Would like, you would you um, say it was it was uh, uh you know how you sort of admitted yourself into there? Would yeah. you say you you were glad you did that? Yes. Or do you look back and go, oh, I wish I never I wish I never went. No, in there. And, the and year before, I know I needed help because I was taken on so much and I couldn't cope with it. Because um, and then the media doesn't help with their stories, stories. Yeah. So everyone's like, you need to get help. I was like, okay, I'll do it. So I was in as a day patient, going in and then coming out. Okay. But I only did that because everyone else wanted me to. So I didn't really stick to it. And this time I did it myself. And I, I knew I needed to get help because I knew I wasn't me. Yeah. 
Yeah. And that's like anyone out there, unless it doesn't matter how many people say, oh, you're an alcoholic or you're this, you're that, you've got to stop this, stop that. You kind of resent people like that. If you want to get help, you'll get help. If yeah. you want to do it, you'll do it. You'll wake up one day and say, do you know what? I do want to do this. Mm. And when you decide that, you do it. It don't matter how many people, you know, people would say to you, Kate, look, you need to go and see, doc. you're not fine. I know you're not, look, you've lost your spark, you're this. I'm like, I'm fine, what you want, I'm fine. Even though inside I'm thinking, I know, I know, but I'm fine, I'll be all right, don't yeah, worry about it. Yeah. Or I didn't want to pick up the phone to people because I'd be like, oh no, what do they want? Or, yeah, and yeah, it gets yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. But For now sure. I'm completely different. I'm so glad I do it. And now I could never imagine myself in there now because I know how far I've come. Yeah. And it's like, wow, I must have been bad when I was in there. Because mm -hmm. um, when I watch programs about things like that, documentaries, because I love them, I sometimes think, blimey, I, was, I felt that low at one point. But now I can never imagine being in that place, which shows how far I've come. Yeah, that must be but, a nice thing to be able to look yeah, back and just be like, so I've come refreshing. so, so far it's from like, this. Yeah, I needed it, did it, come out of it. So anyone who hits rock bottom, you can get to, you just you got to help yourself. You know, the time that you spent in there, was that decided by yourself? Or Me. They, they say, you've... they give you, they assess you um, in everything. Because towards the end, I thought I was getting louder and louder and that. And I said, have I got ADHD or bipolar or something? They're like, no, Kate, it's just your personality. This is just you. And I went, <laughs> That's just you. But are you sure? Not that I need to have a label because. I ended up trying to be like in the classes, trying to make everyone happy. Like I'm always like the joker. Yeah. yeah. Um, they said, no, that's just you coming out. You said, this is you again. Yeah, and returning to um, yourself. But no, unfortunately, the, I'm just madly bonkers naturally. <laughs> it's just <laughs> nothing. Um, but yeah, it's so interesting in there. And, I, and you know, you have to pay obviously to be in the pride, but there are places you go on the NHS. Um, but yeah, I wanted to be in there away from everyone, away from Instagram, away, just away from everyone, yeah. just to do it for myself. Have you stayed in touch with some people that you've met in there? A couple, and yeah, one of them messaged the other day, and she's back in hospital, she's done her wrist, and I just think, oh, she was doing so well. Right, yeah. But because I've come so forward, I don't want to get back in a rut. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah. And I would never yeah. let myself. Yeah. Like almost have, like keep ties to that too much. Yeah, case, so it's yeah. like, I'm there, oh, you'll do well, don't do that, you know. But I've got to get on with my own life and not, like, you, like for me, I had to remove myself from certain friends and things like that. Get yourself out of a situation where you know you could go down a dark road again. Yeah, mm. yeah. You have to do that. Yeah. And have you have you found that with like, Love it. For, like like in terms of your friends? Because obviously, someone mm. like you that's so. I mean, you mentioned it early early doors when you're saying that you know going out for dinners and no one was really chucking their card in to potentially pay for it and yeah. things and a as things have gone on have you found that you've just been better at like picking your friends or like you know what what was a situation that made you go i okay, really need to sort out my friendship i was medicating on coke towards the end to yeah. block things out and i've publicly said it um which wasn't me and that's what shocked everyone because they're mm -hmm. like loads of people do coke and the industry's mm -hmm. full of, everyone does it like loads of people do it yeah. Not but for me, not my no, but for me, no. I was never one of them. And I don't think I would have come so far in my career if I was like that. Right. Because, you know, I've been around 26, 27 years doing what I do. And I think if I'd gone down that road years ago. Tail off very quickly. When it would have done, yeah. yeah. And so that's why people were, because they're like, Kate, this isn't you. And then I wouldn't want to see people. And when you turn to drink or drugs or whatever, it makes you more depressive and makes things more exaggerated in your head. That's how I thought, fuck, this isn't me. You know, I've got kids, I've got I've got to sort myself out. Just, you've got to sort yourself out. Yeah. So I did. Um, what was it you said? My brain. No, 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 I, I, um, I was just asking about like- Oh yeah, that was it. Your so friendship I had to circle, remove, yeah. yeah. So I had to, so when I look back, people who were there while I was like that should have encouraged me not to, not join right. me. Yeah. So it's people like that I've got rid of Yeah. where not that I would be tempted, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't, they, they yeah. wanted the I best interests for themselves. I would only that... do it to self to block things out, whereas they, they would do it to party or whatever. Got but you. I wasn't doing it for that, I was doing it to block things out, so it's different. So <clears throat> I removed myself from people. I still got people in my life who I've known for years, but they were never around when I was like, yeah. like that. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah, no, no, sure. no. And yeah, yeah. Would you, was there like a particular, because I feel like for me anyways, there's like a particular point that I can, you know, put, you know, remember that I was there like, okay, 
that you know i need to change either not to say the people around me but the the way i live my life needs to change from like yeah. from this point onwards and like for me you know i, I was i was drinking loads and I, I would never say i was like an alcoholic but there was just a point where i realized like i'm partying too much you know it was oh, never so anything too, sort of well I, I, a not bit. not i, I don't want to like make it a, a bigger deal out of than what it was but i was just drinking and partying I, I, yeah. I wasn't i wasn't working nearly enough that sort of thing and then I, I was yeah. Uh, you know, I I ended up in uh, a hospital simply because I'd just been drinking too much, and it was at that yeah. point there that I was literally there, just like, do you know what? Like, what's going on here? This needs yeah, to be sorted. So and and I did me. it myself. But was there a moment for you where you were there, like, oh, okay, yeah. this is the moment for me? Well, yeah, because there was so much trauma going on in my life, like one trauma after another trauma, 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 and there's only so much you can take. Um, and it was, I would start making, I was doing my reality, I would start making excuses why I couldn't go to work. It's because right. I couldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'd been on it or. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it sounds disgusting when I say that. And it just goes to prove like now, obviously I'm not, and I haven't drank, not, I was never an alcoholic anyway, but like never, I'm just a lightweight, but I chose not to do anything. Cause I thought if I have a drink, then it might trigger to want to do that. It, or, there's always something because that's what yeah, happened. Yeah. My, even though I'm not a big drinker, but. It got to, no, so now it's made me realize, now I, I'm, the world's my oyster again. Why? Because my brain switched on. Why? Yeah. Because I'm organizing myself. No one's telling me what to do. Yeah. Whereas I got to the stage where, yeah, you organize it, you do it, you do it, I'll just turn up that, that. Hadn't, I lost my own identity. Yeah. I felt weak. I was just bossed around. Everyone telling me what to do. Whereas now it's like, I'm back to where I was 10 years ago. I'm in charge of myself. I do what I want to do. I'm not being bullied. I'm not. A, I'm a person. I'm not just a product. It must feel like a really nice feeling from product. there. Yeah. So that's why I know that it done me good. I needed yeah. to do it to redo my brain. Everything I thought what was bad, they teach you how to deal with it, the okay. trauma and stuff. And then it always goes back to as a childhood and all that. You of do course. That. Yeah. You go all the way back. Yeah. But I did it, and I'm glad I did it. Am yeah. I embarrassed about it? No, because I think if anyone's you know you know yourself if you're yeah if you're not you know yourself you yes. don't have to be told and everyone in this room has a story or trauma or something and we all give off yeah, yeah i'm happy but we've all had some kind of there yeah. might have been a death in the family that's affected you or there could be anything a bad breakup where you're heartbroken not over it and it's made you vulnerable or they say anything it doesn't matter how big or small it's, we're all affected by it yeah so with me there were so many things and i had to put on a brave face for work all the time yeah i'm all right yeah where's you down when really i'm like i'm not i don't yeah. like it, there could be a book sign and i'm like i really can't face seeing all these people and they're all there and it's like an echo noise and i'll be sitting there thinking get yeah. me out of here i feel like i'm gonna have a panic attack like yeah what's wrong with me? I just don't want to see anyone, but you have to push through. It takes a lot of energy to... to be a person oh, that you don't want to. But now, because I am a people person, I yeah. don't care now, I just love it again. Yeah, no, That's I mean- That's why it's like, I'm loving it! Yeah, <laughs> literally, you're yeah. like, this is what I'm saying. Like, I was speaking to Reeve just, just after yeah. I had my opinion. I was like, you are one of the most energetic and like lively people. Yeah. And yeah. in terms of like, having on a podcast- Miss like, Under Judge. Miss Underjudged. Misunderstood? Like, Understood. That's there we are. So there we are. There we are. No, but, but it's, it's true it's though. Like, no, it is. And, and it's yeah. so, because, well, that's the power of the media, isn't it? It's yeah. like, they paint their picture. People but ultimately, I'm a diva and I'm so not. But that's yeah. the thing. If you even just took two minutes out of your day to watch even your YouTube videos, you would yeah. understand that that's like the furthest thing from the truth. Yeah. And that's why I think that YouTube and, and, and things like that is absolutely the way that yeah. either you should take or whatever. Um, oh no, it's just like, it's, like, it's amazing. Time. Cause but you have the personality yeah. for it too. Yeah. No, I love it. Once it, well, I'm trying, I'm fucking, it's fucking hard. It's, it's, <laughs> not, easy. it's not easy, it's not easy. Jesus Christ. Christ. But yeah, no, I'm loving it. Love the YouTube, so. Amazing. Right, well, the last awesome. thing that we like to do on this uh, podcast is relationship advice. Right. Now, <laughs> this Haven't is- we covered that? No, no, no. no, no. So what people do is yeah. they send in their relationship problems and oh, we read them this. out. Um, and I think you will be a fantastic person to oh, have I on for here. I love stuff like this. Because you don't sugarcoat anything. No, and I don't. You're have gonna you give them. that? Yeah, but, which is amazing, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Um, all right, so here we go. So um, everything is anonymous that gets sent in, so we don't read out any names or uh, sure any of them. Names. No, I'm joking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Actually, this is uh, this is my yeah, relationship yeah. problem here. Um, all right, so we have a fella. Would you like to give him a pretend name, Reeve? Jacob. 
Jacob. Okay, so Jacob has sent in a (laughs) message. Jacob (laughs) has sent in a message here. He said, all right, fellas, I need some advice. Basically, we formed a good friendship group at uni and everything was calm. But then this girl and I porked. Uh, We use porked as a term of... You're not allowed to say that word. Uh, anyways, yeah. um, they uh, they porked and it, it wasn't that deep until we did it again. Long story short, six months later, it's been on and off with this girl. Okay. I don't really want a relationship and I'm looking forward to clubs opening and going ham, if you get what I mean. Um, whenever I'm with this girl, I'm really happy though. Um, he said, she's never had a relationship and she ports quite a few other guys, which makes me kind of jealous. Um, and weirdly almost makes me want her more. I don't want to ruin the friendship group as well. What do you think I should do? Um, just see where things go or end things before they get serious. First of all, you can't have your cake and eat it. Okay. <laughs> all right. Right. So you've had her, you want her, but you don't want anyone else to have her basically. Exactly. Mm. But you can't wait for the clubs to open so you can go and pork other things. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So basically he wants his cake and it. He wants her to himself. Yeah. But he doesn't want an else to have her and he wants to go with other women. Yes. So he's either, but he doesn't say if she wants to commit with him. So she's yeah, with because she's she's, she's porking people. other blokes as well. Yeah. well so what either, do you think the, the, the advice is for this I this think bloke? he's either, you're either liking her a little bit more than you're letting off or just go and see how it goes because she's obviously going off with other people. You're, you're still interested in other people. And if you're not, then confide and say, do you want to be a girlfriend? Because it's not going to work out. Do you, you reckon they should, he should go straight in there and be like... Well, just say, look, we've been seeing each other for like six months. I know you've been with other guys and to be honest, I don't like it. Yeah. I know um, I would, I'd rather be with you yeah. than other girls because I would miss you and I like your company. Shall we start seeing each other exclusively? Okay. So do you I sh- hate these labels. Yeah, official, yeah, yeah. Exclusive, exclusive or seeing. Right. I hate them words. Do, okay, I've actually got a slightly different oh, question there. Okay, so you know how like you start seeing someone, you're dating them, but at the same time you could be porking other no, people, right? I'm too jealous for that. No, no but, but then do, do you think <laughs> it's on some, like on one of the person to say, Shall we be exclusive now? Or do you think saying exclusive is the same thing as saying you're my boyfriend or girlfriend? Yeah, exclusive. You, you, you might as well just be together. That's then. what I, that's, yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. What do you think about that, really? Yeah, I agree. If you're exclusive, you're not going anywhere else. And you, you're like, well, he's admitted it. Yeah. He doesn't like her with other men, so he must have some feelings for her. Yeah. And probably because she hasn't given him feelings, that's why he's still going with other girls. So I'd flip it around. If she told you, if, if I'm him, if she told you mm-hmm. that she liked you, would you then say you like her too? So he's got to I be think he would. I think he would, you know. Yeah. I think he would. That's it. All right, here we go. Next up, we've got another guy. If you could just give us a random name to call this person. Murdoch. Murdoch. Okay, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, everyone chooses names for their own reasons. Uh, hey, fellas, how's it going? Uh, big question here. So I've been dating my girlfriend for two years now and everything's been great. Congratulations. Um, um, it's been fun. We've always got along and there haven't really been any issues. The thing is, we're both 18 and we'll be leaving for university in the autumn and we'll literally be a thousand miles apart <laughs> right what is your opinion on a long distance versus a long distance relationship versus potentially splitting up i'm torn as i feel like we should both have a fresh start and not be held back but also i don't want to ruin something perfectly good any thoughts much love from the us oh my god i would hate to be in your situation for real i would hate that You've been together two years and basically it's perfect. Yeah. First of all, I don't know what you're both studying, but why didn't you talk about going to the same uni? Good question. Number one. I, th- I think in the US it's a little bit different. Is it? it I, I don't know. Yeah, but, but anyways, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. For me, personally, I can't do long distance relationships yeah. because I'm all or nothing. Yeah. Some people aren't like that. Some people can, you know, you get women who go out of guys in the army. So with you, She's obviously going to get male attention, let's be honest. You know, college, uni, she's you'll hear what ports. happens. Like, yeah. She's and ports. you're like, going to see girls. Up. And I think for the first sort of month, you'll be like, oh, I miss you. I want to come and see you. You'll make the effort. But, and I reckon it will die out. You, yeah, you reckon because it will die out. Because it, it's impossible. You've got to concentrate on your work. She'll concentrate on hers. Or you make a deal that, you know, you see each other, what, once a month? 
until even even then as a student you've not got much money i mean being able to travel that you're answering yourself it's yeah so are you saying are you saying cut it off before it potentially becomes but it's hard and it won't because feelings are feelings are oh they're, they're awful they play with your emotions so I couldn't do a long distance relationship, but then if I really loved someone, I would have spoke about it to see if we could have been nearer. Yeah. So. Well, do you, do you know what's interesting is I, I, I completely <laughs> so agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, it's, I, not, it's just, what, what do you it's do? Life. It's, it's life. life. it's life. It's life, at, at the end of the day, I think, uh, I think you cut it off now. And, and, and some people be there like, yeah, but you know, there's been two years, no problems, whatever. First of all, I don't think long distance relationships are viable. At the end of the day, you need a pork in they, one way or another. Whether you're the woman, the yeah. man, it doesn't matter. Or you follow you need sexual. They got a job abroad or something, they, and it was an amazing job, amazing opportunity. He wouldn't just take it without talking yeah. to me. Yeah. So you either then make a decision, you part because you know it's not going to work. Yeah. Or you go. Or you go and live it with you. Yes. Only live once, right? <laughs> go you, on. You only so they live clearly, once. They, they clearly like come from the same upbringing and area. Yeah. yeah. Right. So if they're meant to be together, they'll, yeah. they'll find a way after they return. Nah, that that's the thing. Like, it, I, you know what? I think it's one of those things. When you're that young as well, um, yeah. it's just one of, like go out there, pork the people you want to pork, and then once <laughs> yeah. once that's all over and Maybe you're still life. there yeah. at, at the end of you, and you're still there, like I miss the connection I had with this person. Message them, exactly. see what they're saying. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what I think. All right, cool. On to the next one here. All right. Um, we've got uh, a, another male name. You I'm like going to go for OJ Simpson. OJ, <laughs> OJ Simpson wants relationship advice. Not surprised. So are we allowed um, to use OJ? Or yeah, absolutely. I... Sure. Um, I've been with this uh, girl a few times and I think she likes me and I like her as well. We are probably going out this weekend. How do you suggest I solve this one? Should I just go for it and kiss her and tell her how I feel um, or something else? Oh, what, like, both... like, so if, if you're going on a date, yeah. he's essentially going on a date with someone. They've been talking already, telling each other how much they like him. Yeah. And everyone loves flattery. You've already, you're already telling us what you want to do, so do it. Tell her you like her. Tell her you like. But, but do you yeah. think he, he should tell her that he likes her before go, just going in? Don't go in for a blind kiss. What are your thoughts on that? Well, the thing it's is, it's risky that you know. A kiss says it all, didn't it? Though, if you yeah. shit kiss her, then fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and then, like Amazing. anyone, it's like, but there's nothing wrong with that because you're not in relationship. Relationship, tell her you like her and go for a kiss because you're not, you're not like committing anything. Are you just yeah. saying you like her and go for, for the kiss? Then. That's what you should do. Yeah. You're not saying will you be my girlfriend before even trying out the goods. Yeah. It's so true. All right, here we go. Uh, we're on to the next one here. It says, I'm... Uh, uh, go on, Reeve. Give, give us a name for this one. Josh. <laughs> She's coming through with these absolute corkers and you're giving me Josh. Something about right. a chair. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. Uh, I'm 23 and I, uh, I just got out of a two-year relationship. <sighs> Fresh meat. Um, I haven't gone through a hoe phase in my life uh, because that's never really attracted to me, be, uh, being attractive to me. Um, want to focus on myself and get jacked. My question is, should I go through a phase where I have fun or should I keep doing what I'm doing and focus on myself and not worry about a, getting a partner so essentially they're looking do they have yeah. a whole phase or not do you know i think in life um just get it out you're, if you won't do it now you'll do it then just you've got to get, get it out, out of the system, system. but Absolutely. don't start thinking oh i need a relationship need a, it would just yeah. happen just enjoy yourself you're 23 don't even think about it like if you feel you want to go and pork someone then yeah go yeah yeah there. exactly no it's true <laughs> I, I agree with that you know because you can do both feel if you feel good about yourself you feel good when you go out and you know when you've had enough and i think that's a life thing as you get older you find men who say they're not ready to settle down when they're younger or whatever yeah. because they want to have the lads holidays or yeah fuck a load of women or whatever and it's true the older they are, when they've done it it gets boring after a while and then they want to settle down you yeah. know i i because i i think that there'll be some part and if these people don't go through maybe a phase or you know at least experimenting with yeah. what other things in the relationship they'll always be thinking what if yeah what if this yeah, yeah. what if that yes like i i'm putting it out there and i know there's down so i'm not upsetting anyone uh-huh <laughs> you don't anyone. think you don't think yeah <laughs> 
I don't talk about religion either, by the way, because you're never right or wrong. Yeah. But some people, all right, no. They just, save themselves. Just forget it, Kate. Just say it. I could never see myself with that one person forever because you'll always think, what if? Yeah. Right. Got you. Because it's a human thing to be the interested grass is in. Green, it's so some of, of these course. people who have only been together, only them together, I bow down to you because that must be hard because you always mm. want to know what if. And plus, if you've tried, you know what you want. It's true. It's yes. true. Like, so, like once you've explored all the all the things yeah. in your mind, it's sort of like one of them ones where yeah. it's like, uh. All right, cool. Uh, on to the next one. We have, uh, I'll go for this one. We'll call this one- Nigel. Um, <laughs> Nigel. Okay, <laughs> Nigel here says, uh, hi fellas. Uh, one time I was drunk. Uh, I ended up jumping into my mate's mum's bed <laughs> with her and his, uh, and his stepdad, <laughs> right? Let's say it didn't go too well after that. My friends ripped me for years and I still can't look his mom in the eyes because I'm still <laughs> embarrassed. Have you boys have anything like this? What, just fell asleep in the bed or they No, 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 so, so, no, <laughs> so, well, it's a threesome, but it's with his, his mates. Mom, yeah. Mom. What, you, what you're like, first of all, the threesome itself, like in my, in my opinion, it's a, a bit of a congratulations there. Yeah, I know yeah. a lot of guys would be like, whoa, yeah, get yeah, in yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. What, what, what do you think about that? Like, it potentially. It's just a life experience that you tried. You just <laughs> yeah. have to take it on the chin. They all know I'm it. I'm sure she did. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, with your mate's yeah. mum. <laughs> with your mate's chin. mum. Could but you, yeah. could you, could you, do you think that person could still be mates with the person that shagged their mum? That'd be very hard. Wouldn't that it? would yeah. be it'd tough, wouldn't be it? Brought up. Yeah. It'd always, when it would always be brought up, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And you know that if your mate's coming over, he's like, I'm just going upstairs to get changed and you leave no. him and your mum in the kitchen. Don't go to the bedroom. It's <laughs> awkward, isn't it? It is very because awkward, Because if yeah. you'd like me, I'll be down there saying, oh yeah, having a little uh, reminder where we like, <laughs> Yeah, it'd be awkward, wouldn't it? All right, here we go. Uh, we've got another one here. How's it going, lads? Uh, hope you're well. I have a bedroom question. I've been seeing this girl for a while now and it's all been going sound, but lately I've been going flop when we've been getting down to doing the business. But one of the last times I happened, I started thinking about a girl I was last seeing before her and it <laughs> went solid again. No. Since then, I've done it a couple of times. I don't know what to do. <laughs> well, if you're thinking about someone else and it makes it happy, happy chappy, then maybe you're with the wrong girly. Do you reckon? But it's a lot of men can have that problem anyway. It's not for any reason. It's yeah. like, you know, you don't, just because you want it, sometimes your downstairs might not want it. It's just that happens to men. That's normal. And I that think, is normal. I think guys would know that, especially as you get old. So I wouldn't stress about that. Definitely a few friends of ours yeah, have, 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 have expressed the, um, the, yeah, the need for a certain pill common. that helps them out. You know, you could do that, but I think it's quite common. But for that guy, if he's thinking about someone else or that's a madness. Yeah, that's yeah around, just fuck uh, off. Yeah, yeah, it's true. And, and yeah. okay, so from a girl's perspective, um, when a guy, you know, does flop and, and, and doesn't, it, the soldier doesn't man to, manage yeah. to stand up and salute, <laughs> right? What What is, what's your thoughts and what's the best way for a guy to play it off? See, I'm older and I think if you're younger, you'd be like, oh, you'll be hurt by it. But it's, uh, you just find that, by talking to it, it's pretty normal. It can happen. Yeah. So you just you, really, don't be a no, bitch about it. No. Just literally, no, just don't make an issue out of it. Don't make. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Because it's not really an issue. Because there'd be another time. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, you'd hope there'd be another time. Yeah. Don't worry about it, mate. It's gonna but happen no, again. I think anything like that. If someone don't feel right about anything like that, never make the other person feel bad about it. Yeah. Because otherwise, it becomes an issue. And when it's not an issue, you have good days and you have bad days. It can happen. All right, here we go. This is it. We'll do this for the last one then. Yes, and Cole's thinking, yes, I can get He's to the He's celebrating. <laughs> here we go. All right, <laughs> last one. In slow motion. Yes. All right, all, all right. right. Here we go, here we go. Um. Yeah, uh, all right, we'll take, uh, is this a, oh no, this is a blow? Okay, 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 okay. So oh. we got a fella here. Um. His name is? His name is called Felix. Felix, yes. all right. Felix is <laughs> on a mad one. Are you feeling it? Are you, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. No. Yes, fellas. So I've been with my girlfriend for nearly three years, but she still thinks she was my first. Oh, no. Little does she know, Ooh. I porked my girlfriend about a week before me and my current girlfriend got together. I can't tell her this now, can I? Oh. 
Oh, that is a top one. What do you reckon? I don't even know. You know. Guilt. Do you know what? So it depends how long he wants to continue the relationship for. Because I mean, it's it has to be. You'd has have to, to be brought that, up at some yeah, point. You can't can you reckon? Or life. if someone says something, yeah, he could. Well, you could be like, look, I didn't want to hurt your feelings at the time. We'd come on, and, and the longer it went, I just didn't want to hurt your feelings because yeah. I love you so much and respect you oh, so much. She, yeah, You'd have to that's fucking it. play that card, Grovel. wouldn't you? Yeah. I just your do you face. Think that I didn't want to hurt to tell you. Her? Do you think no. he has to tell her, or do, uh, in my opinion, I think I just wouldn't. I wouldn't. But if it's brought up and kept found out, just then just say, look. Yeah, I did, and I don't know why I said it to you because I, I, you know, I love you so much, and respect. just give it all that, blah, blah, <laughs> and then she'll be all right. I, I completely agree with that. You know, look, if it doesn't need to come up, something like that as well. Yeah. It's uh, like if it's not. It doesn't really make years, a difference. Yeah, it don't. And at the end of the day, like whether you're dump him for that is just pathetic, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it's not, it's not actually that bad. It's and he hasn't that cheated bad. on her. No, no, it's not. So, there well, we go. Have you? <laughs> well, he did say it was a it was a week before they got together. But regardless, anyways, look, let's not yeah, talk. Yeah, about, let's not talk about specifics. I'm not predicting. Yeah. Anyways, guys, um, we're gonna wrap it up there. Um, thank you very much, Kate, for coming on. We have no, had I've the had most fun. amazing time. Oh, you have been one you. of the best guests, hands oh, really? down. Oh, hands thank down. you. We have to do something again. We will. We will. Do. We'll definitely. We'll get you on. I'm sure. We uh, realistically, we could have chatted to you for another two hours about all the no, crazy no, stuff that's happened. No, no, we'll come back. We'll do it. If we people want to hear. Let us know. Yeah. By well, far. I'm learning this. I like and subscribe. Yeah. By, <laughs> by far and away, my best guest. Yeah, is yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean. thanks. Have you had a lot of female guests in? Um, oh, well, I mean, this is it's his first guest in general, but regardless. Oh, fuck you, then. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, uh, thank you very much. And obviously, you have your own YouTube channel. So, guys, yeah. that will be linked down below. Please go ahead and check that out. Oh, There'll be some behind the scenes you. as well. So that camera right there in the back. So you guys can go ahead and if you want to see a little bit more behind the scenes of the Fellas podcast and check that out. Again, Reeve, thank you very much for stepping in last minute for yeah, Chip. Thank you. Let's hope that Chip is still alive by the time this uh, podcast finish. And uh, if you haven't already, uh, you guys can go ahead and check us out on Spotify, Apple Music. We are now the fifth biggest uh, podcast mm -hmm. in the UK. That's wow. that's my word. You know what I mean? Five. Look at that. This is like so five. good. And here's me saying. <laughs> So how many followers have you got? Yeah. Um, <laughs> three million. What? So there we have it, guys. Thank you very much. Reeve, Katie, appreciate you guys coming out. And we'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.